Hi, folk. We are so glad you're joining us again, Chasing Foxfires. Before we begin, quick shout out to Sirenscape, this amazing online program that lets you manage soundtracks and sound effects. They've been an absolute lifesaver when we move to the online D&D space with their online player. So definitely check them out at sirenscape.com. So, <laughs> you guys took a moment to relax after finally speaking to Tatiana. You all gathered in one of the many kind of more private rooms in the Sealy Court, joined there by a fawn named Yusri. When you find yourself joined by a misty silhouette appearing in front of Syrian, who introduced themselves as Lyra, presenting this very disjointed personality who appears to be stuck as a liar. You took some time to talk about where to go from here, what comes next, and you discussed the consequences of the deal that Syria made with Madame Walker. You talked somewhat about Max's past, and with the help of Yusuri, who turned out to be quite the adept scryer, you learned who is after Nax. However, as Nax digs through his memories, and this time successfully manages to kind of think back to those remnants of his past, he realizes that this figure is nobody, not really anyone of notice or import at all. And although it kind of leaves a party with more confusion, it also now proves to Nax that if he wants to, at least he can revisit those memories. It is after that, that you go to fetch Denarian, who had obviously wandered off and found himself being very charmed by a group of nymph-like fae creatures. When you finally caught up with him, um, you found him dancing in a dark room with the smoke of a drug in the air and very much naked. Eridian quite cunningly rebounded whatever charm was in effect and by doing so managed to keep the party more or less out of harm's way. But it did take the illusion of a dead Greki, the smell of burnt tea, to get Denerian out of his days. And it took some searching from all of you to make sure that he actually didn't lose any of his belongings. And even then, he had somewhat of a stoned tea crisis. You extracted yourself from the dreamlike state that the sea liquor is, and you took the small kind of candied cherries that Tatiana had given you and decided to hopefully travel back to your own plane of existence, accompanying Thorn, the dwarf that you had met in Discord. Now you are all linked by Nax's telepathic spell, which we'll find out if that proves fortuitous. Can I first, however, have HP rolls from everyone? As we just Shit. leveled up. Ooh. Exactly. Uh, B8. You want me to level up again just to fit in? I'll happily do it. Nah, nah, you're uh, fine. Seven. Okay. Nice. Okay, so plus seven for our Syrian. Technically plus eight, because constitution. Plus seven on the dice. Yeah. Yes. As a three for a Vidrian. Oh, oh okay. fuck. Plus, plus what? one is four. Plus four. I mean, it could be worse. That book. Yeah, nice. you maxed out a d4. Like, Seven. you don't use those for hit die, but nice, still. Nice, nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, Three plus. What's that one again? My audit trail of rules. I got defeated. I got a seven. Five. Okay. Yeah. When the wizard gets more HP than the rogue. <laughs> Rip. And remember to roll for Drekki as well, then you Oh, yes. So I got she seven plus two con. Okay. Nine. Nice. Yeah. Not, not what terrible. Did, wait, what did Reaver get? We got seven. Oh, you tanky git. <laughs> of course. What's, what's your hit points? What's your hit points now? Currently 113. Ah, one through six. Get up. <laughs> Fuck. God damn. 
What's your con mod? It's not the size of your Hi. hit points. It's how well you spend them protecting us. Oh, wait, I forgot that I did lose. You did lose con. I lost so much con, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, you, oh. you, you lost a, a lot of HP. Yep. Yep. You know what That's leveling fun. up feels like? Like a really good night's sleep. Really? I can't remember what that's like. I was going to say, explains why I don't know what it's like. High fantasy, folks. High fantasy. Reaver Syrian, mm. Aridrian, mm. and Nax. Uh oh. Can I, from the four of you, oh no, have um, Aridrian? You don't have to make this. The three of you. Can I have wisdom saving throws, please? Why? Oh, 19. Uh, is this a charm effect? No. Is 27. this something I have advantage against yeah. anyway? What's, no. what's currently happening? You'll find out. No, no, as in like, in the ambience of it. I just rolled hit points and now I'm making a wisdom save? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Turns out, as you level up in Marissa's world, things start to level back at you. <laughs> What's your roll? Um, it's 17. 17. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The Red Rain didn't have to make it. Max rolled super high as well. Cool. The four of you. 16. You have that weird stepping down a step and missing the step feeling that teleporting brings. That, huh! As you step forward and you find yourself suddenly on a stone floor in a spacious room in front of a fireplace that looks to be close to dying down. The fire seems to have been somewhat neglected. In front of it, on either side, you see desks most of which have very intricate looking instruments lying on top of it, as well as documents, papers, and books scattered around. At a glance, this looks like a very messy scientist's desk setup. That kind of instrument. On the floor beneath you, below you, you see a furred rug of some form. You see cupboards and something that looks like a vault stand in the corners of the room. There's big windows in the wall that don't show much of an outside. There's not really a lot of light coming through them. And you see amidst you, a kind of confused looking elderly dwarf. By my beard, you're all here. I thought, uh, is my dream real? Ah. <sighs> Let me tell you, Thorn, that you'd be surprised how often dreams turn out uh, to be real. Just, uh, head count. Just, did yeah, we get I was everyone? Say, just a quick question. Is it only the people who made saves that have appeared in this room? Who are we missing? Denarian and... Oh, bye. Fen, Fen and Denarian aren't here. Yes. Oh, no. Right. Oh, no. Um, Syrian. Hello. You do notice that you Just appear iron. to have somewhat damp clothing and you smell very soapy. Ooh. Motherfucker. Am I in a bathtub? You're not in a bathtub, but you <laughs> smell as if you've just come out of one. I... I just hold up a finger and then I turn to Iridrian and be like, and I just, I just nod with like kind of um, sullen appreciation on my face. Uh, Th Thorn is was he's the old he's the the he say we're in his dream or real or real? It, like does he think he's just woke up? Does yes, he... that's the impression he's giving. Mr. Magic Weaver, sir, you should probably write down as much of your dream as possible before it disappears. It's good practice. Now, I'm not saying I disagree, but, and he, he kind of pokes you in the arm. You do seem very solid. I am. 
very solid, it's true. It's one of my better qualities, is how real and upfront and genuine I am in everything. Uh, can, can I... But we're missing two of us, and this concerns me. I, I, I check, I, I think, to Finn and Daenerian. Like, along the lines of... Ping. Just Finn... Daenerian? Let's start with Daenerian. Can I have a oh, D100 no. from you, please? Oh no. I'm horrified and curious in equal measure. Oh, the fancy one. Oh my god, it's a one dice. Yep. Every time I get a one dice of D100. So heavy as well. The weight of destiny. That is a six. Okay. Do you really love it? That's good. Can I now have a wisdom saving throw from you? <laughs> wisdom saving. Uh -oh. yep. Is this a charm? Nope. That is not eleven. Okay. You are terribly confused. You were in a cave with your friends. And as you were about to go somewhere, you're somehow finding yourself in your mother's living room. Ooh. You have no memory of anything that happened in the last few days. Oh. Am, am, I, am I waking up or am I standing there? You're standing there as if you just like, walked into the place. I mean, it's often for me to walk into a place to forget why I'm going in there. But I feel like forgetting coming into a place meant this is odd. Is anybody here? You look around you. No, although you do hear sounds outside from you know, the, the general sounds that you are used to happening in the village where you used to live. Is Greggy here? Greggy's sitting next to you. Kind of licks his licks his lips a bit confused, you know? Gives it a bit of a head shake. He's looking a bit confused too. Yeah. I will... I'll just go take some food from... If there's a shelf nearby, I'll just grab some food. Just yeah, in yeah. case I'm not too hungry. Y you grab do some like... food classic teenager back at home thing where the first thing you do is you open the fridge basically yeah 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 yeah. do that grab some food and then walk out as you are about to walk out you hear a reverse voice in your head going finn denarian <laughs> oh it's just if it's on this plane right it's there's no limit to the connection no limit oh oh a uh, hi reva Okay, good, you're alive. Um, are you in a, a mountain or a sea? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm home. Um, uh, did you, did you teleport us, us here? Am As you say home, you remember thinking in your head, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. Oh, oh no. I guess this is home, Ben. Um. Qu quick, quick question. That did we 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 didn't go from a cave. We were like outside, right? You were like so, standing in front of the so, silly court. So, the, so the cave that Daenerian is picturing happened last was it was the one that has the the actual portal to the Feywild in it. Oh, you've forgotten the Feywild entirely. He's forgotten the Feywild entirely. Oh, so my cave was horrifying. But after a drama look, right? Okay, good. So you know the magic's back, you just don't know everything else. <laughs> that we were seeing in his, in his head. Do I do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Or am I just like very certain I just walked through a portal to go to the Fae and ended up here? I mean, you're confused as fuck because you just walked through a portal to go somewhere and you ended up yeah. back home. It's not like you've gone stupid, you know, that your party's not with you. Uh, I, That's weird. Okay. I think what's happened is uh, you've 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 
dropped off. There's been some sort of mishap in the magic and you are wherever you are just now. Uh, we are and the I, I look around to see if there's anything that looks remotely dwarven other than the dwarf. We're probably we in, might be in the wrong place as well. You have never actually seen a dwarven city as such, Braver, so you don't quite know what you would expect from that. Yeah, I'm, but look, I'm looking for like a big portrait of like some dwarf standing on an anvil or this, something like that. This like. guy seems at home and the desk that's there is definitely at the right size for him. Mm. Okay, there's beard hair everywhere. There's beard hair not everywhere. Is it, okay. Is it pinging my, my dwarfish uh, ancestral memories? Oh, yes. This looks yeah, like that, it could be a dwarven home to you. Yeah, this is 100% a dwarven home. Like, okay. Right, okay, we, made it, we made it to the city. Where have you ended up? Um, I'm, I'm back in my village. We were supposed to go to Fay, no? Oh my god, do you know how long it's going to be? Um... <sighs> Am I just Larry. talking to Vivo? Is Larry. everyone else on the channel? It's group chat. Group Denarian. chat. It's, it's been three years. Since when? Since we've been able to reach you. Where have you been? Been sleeping for a long time. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this giggling comes over the chat. Like. Wait. I mean, okay, so. Well, the, it's been the magic like. It definitely worked. It's been like. We're a talking. Week. We went to the Feywild, um, you lost all your tea. I'm uh, sorry. You took my tea to the Feywild without me? No, you went to the Feywild and you forgot it all. Uh, guys, I'll tell you. Guys, focus. Finn? No Where Finn. was Finn thinking of? Where? Oh my god. He's... Shit, He's gonna drown. He's <laughs> got sending. Did you go to the Feywild without him too? Denirian, keep up. You lost all your memories. You went to the Feywild. It was magical. And horrible. There were... I'll tell you all about it. Once upon a time, no. Sam begins an expedition. Yeah, just... Can someone get in contact with him? Anybody at I, all? I cannot. I can only reach him if he's on this plane. I, I mean, try. He may be somewhere that... Ben! I yell into the telepathic void. Don't get a response? Yeah, I figured. You do, however, hear... It's very mighty strange that you yell in my head, but the volume is still the same in your head as you include a thorn in the psychic bond. Yeah, I'm terribly sorry. We're, we're missing one of our uh, two of our companions, uh, Mr. Magic Weaver. Um, can you just give us a moment to try and... Um, Figure out what the fuck. If you'll pardon my expression. Uh, it's elvish. Oh, all you know, right. We could, really use, we could really use Yusri and his scrying right about now. Reach. Is, wait, I'm sure one of us could send uh, sending spells. Was it Finn? It was, it was Finn. <laughs> oh, that's super yeah. convenient. He'll he'll message us when uh, he lands. If I'll we can sit and wait a does. while, then I can deal with this, but I can't remember how to perform this this second. Okay. Um, I'm sure he's totally fine. He's a strong, independent man who don't need no po- oh god. Um, and he's the did, one that can scry on people in bathtubs as we, well, and I'm in a bathtub. Did we- Oh. He's perfectly capable of coming to us. Mm. Except he doesn't have a teleport spell. So, so None of us do. But next. So if he has ended up in like the ocean or what? Does anyone remember what he was thinking of? Did, did, like obviously no, because he wouldn't have told us because we all fought and then disappeared. Shit. If we're not in a hurry now, no, I might just sit and rest for a while. And then I can rewrite my spells. Oh, that would be really convenient. Um, uh, in the absence of any other decision making, Max is going to sit down and revise his spells. <laughs> okay. Um, 
I think it's important to perform introduction then, since you've forgotten each other and, um, Daenerian, uh, this is the voice of Thorn Magic Weaver, a dwarf who spent much time uh, practicing the ancient arts of magic whilst magic wasn't available. Oh shit. Thorn, Thorn Magic Weaver. You can't remember him. Thorn Magic Weaver, this is Daenerian, who you also can't remember, I assume, or dreamed about, uh, who uh, helped us. Is he the li- funny fellow with the dog? Uh, the wolf, yes. Yeah, that's right. Is Gracky on the channel? Thorn, how much, <laughs> how much do you remember <laughs> of, let's say, a few hours ago? Well, I'm pretty sure that I was working on something and then I think someone told me I had an important, uh, or I was part of an important process. Uh, okay. It's all very hazy. And I just remember it was, I just, well, you were all in it. This, this, and this other tall fella with, with very red hair. Right there. Mm. Missing in action. And there's this, and you see him blush on the cheeks a little as he says, mm-hmm. I think I remember a fine lady. I can't remember her face. She was very fine. And I, and as he's about to continue on, um, you all hear a knocking, duk, 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 very softly, followed by a, ah, who, who you're talking to? Aww. And you see the door into this room open a teeny tiny bit and a very small dark skinned face kind of peek through the door opening of this very speaking... young dwarven girl. Was she speaking dwarvish or common? Common. Hmm. Ah. I wait for Thorn to react. He turns around. Ah, uh, well, uh, go, go get your mom, Dari. This is, this is mighty confusing, but I feel like we may need some chairs, probably a drink. Uh, uh, right, everyone, uh, come along, come along. Wait, uh, before the kid leaves the room, I'm gonna be like, hey, kid. Well, oh. something just fell over in our home. I gave everyone a fright. It was the camera. Okay. Uh, just like, hey, kid. Uh, how has your dad has your dad been here the entire time? She looks at you. Well, of course. This is. I'm. I'm not actually supposed to disturb him at work. Okay. When was the last time you disturbed him? Lunchtime. Fuck. <laughs> That's a rude word. Um. Uh. You see Thorn give you a skull, like a dad skull. Yeah, dad skull. Son, what's your language? Um, no, but also, um, we're, in it. we're guests in this man's house. Han, who you're talking to? Oh, this is this is getting you're here real in the confusing. background. Real fun. And you see... He has invisibility on the entire party. <laughs> <laughs> of age with Thorn, slightly older, very, very dark-skinned um, dwarven woman. Her hair decorated with very similar jewelry and beads as her husband's, although the braids and the plates in her hair are very thin and small. Um, she has no beard. She is very obviously missing part of her left hand where the the pink kind of attached pinky finger attaches to the hand um she wears this simple gray overall but on top of it she wears a very very almost elaborately um decorated with weaving smithing apron and you see her look at all of you with the most confused look i didn't recall getting visitors I end my head to the rest of the party. I'm going to be like, so how long was Thorn with the court and when are we? Uh, 
I send a shrug emoji. I'm pretty sure we can't have gone back in time, at least. Yeah. Right? Well, if that's the case, what's been here instead of Thark? Nah, it's, it's relative time compression. Like, remember when I stepped through the portal and, like, no time at all passed for me, but you all had a lovely night's sleep? Like... He, what might have been a second for him in the Feywild whilst we were away here for a week like that can work yeah, so Fey, all, don't try to understand the, it just feel it we've all turned up at the same time though and he yeah. was already there gods man, am I right? could have been a changeling do your true sight uh, burn for today yeah, fair uh, we're standing like looking at each other else. instead of talking out loud and it's getting kind of awkward like so i'll just turn to the lady of the house and just bl and just like bow in as courtly fashion as possible um like imitating iridrian but like just turn it up a slight notch turning it up a notch above iridrian is a hard I thing know. to do it is a very hard but thing okay. to do, but i'll roll <laughs> for it <laughs> if i have to <laughs> Elaborate bow. Elaborate bow. 28 on elaborate bow. Okay. Does... Does anything look out of sorts? Like... Like, like maybe they aren't there, or something's a bit... Effy. Well, we'll Perception check, insight. if you will? Insight check on the furniture. Just, it's all minutes. I think that's called a perception check still. When it's I know, furniture. I know. I'm teasing. 13. The world around you seems solid enough. Okay. I'll, I'll just say, uh, a pleasure to meet you. Um, we've... This is a very... I've never introduced myself to someone where the only common connection I have with someone is meeting them in, in what could be considered a dream. Uh, hello, we're magic from another world. That you may... yeah. Well, I'll Great. be damned, honey. I know that I've always supported you, but I never... And he, he, he looks at her. And he says, well, when I said we were keeping a, a tradition alive, I, this is not exactly what I was envisioning. Um, art is weird. You can see him kind of think about how to phrase this. <laughs> Vision, where I was um, meeting these strangers and suddenly they're here. But... If my vision is right or quite all right, I think. And she gives you all a look. And she looks at her husband. And you can very obviously see on her face that a decision is being made there. As she goes, well, all right, um, do come through. I'll pull out some seeds and some drinks and maybe some food. And you can warm yourself yeah, uh, by the fire and maybe explain to me in some more detail what we're dealing with. And I she leads you into a room which is smaller than this workroom, um, but very mm -hmm. much a living room. There's a, a kind of what was once clearly a pretty table, but they have a kid. The table's been well used. There's a mm -hmm. table standing in the corner. Um, there's a couch in front of a fireplace, there's some chairs, there's a rug on the floor, you see a big cooking pot in front of the fire. Um, she kind of pulls out chairs from another room, tries to seat you all down and just starts busying herself. She's very clearly, she's coping right now. Mm -hmm. She's not yeah. questioning, but she is wanting to do something with her hands because this is weird as fuck. It's weird as fuck. Is there yes. windows? Exactly. Is that? Windows. Yes. Can I go to one? Yes, absolutely. Um, there's actually, but well, the previous room had a lot of windows. This room has one window, which is sitting in a door um, that leads outside. I don't which look in the previous room then. Also works. Mm -hmm. Looking outside, 
you see a street, a mm -hmm. few other houses, kind of looking up a bit. It's quite dark wherever you are, but there's there's windows with lights inside. People? People in the street? Um, not many. But some? But some. Okay. Um, I want to message to Denirian mm -hmm. that we are working on grouping up Naxus of an arrest and we'll get back to you. It seems like you're safe. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Syrian. <laughs> the first thing I want to do is... I, I think we passed over it, but I want to be 100% certain that Lyra is with me. Yes. Cool, that's yeah. all. Um, then, like, Syrian is itching to t just tell the story and, like, explain what has happened and how we're here. Like, everyone can see it. Do you do so? Yeah, absolutely. As soon as, okay. like, places are let, everyone sat in a, a safe way, I explain that, like, 900 years or so ago, uh, this land was cursed um, with the banishment of magic. And it is only in the last week, maybe, it's hard to tell with time, that uh, that curse has been lifted by a set of brave, nameless heroes who risked everything to um, shatter this, uh, this lodestone to which the curse was anchored and free this continent from um, its 900 year long uh, toil uh, that it didn't even know it was suffering under and restore the natural balance. You can see that in the beginning, you mostly have the attention of the small girl who sits down on the rug on the floor, cross-legged, and has a turtle like, mm. wow. And but like, as you continue talking, um, the woman who's been like prepping some plates of, mm -hmm. um, there's sausages, there's uh, what look like baked mushrooms on it, there's some bread on it, as she's setting this out, at one point, she's like standing in the doorway, holding a platter of something. And she's just kind of standing there, listening, mm -hmm. stopped what she was doing despite herself. And she's, you know, platter still in hand, kind of in, in the doorway, listening to your story. I just want to finish it um, by casting a small minor illusion cantrip um, of just like something small and innocuous, like, uh, I don't know, a geode that hatches into a flower um, and then turns to dust. The child gives it a total like. I do another bow. As you tell the story. Now, that does take some time. It does. Yes. Um, I know that next you want to rest and take a moment to rewrite your spells. Is there anyone on this side of the continent who wishes to do anything else? Okay. Denaria. Does that? Does that include me? Well, it does now. Okay. As you talk to your friends, and they're clearly having this conversation among themselves as well, that you are not understanding half of it of. The door opens in front of you, and you see your mother's like looking back, talking to someone, and almost like bumps into you, obviously not counting on you standing here. I give sort of total. It's like a like, piece of food in my mouth. Hi, Mom. Um, stuff happened. Okay. We returned magic. I think. How is that going? Is it okay? I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Well. How's it going? This is unexpected. I was just going to get the peaches. Feel free. I will. She looks at the one that you have eaten. May need to get some more. Do you want to sit down? That would be amazing. Okay. Do you perchance have some tea ready to boil? Dear, what a silly question. Well, I've been some 
very backwards places, where he is less served than others. It is the hardest part of travel. Hands that down. terrible. Come here. And she like kind of, you know, full on goes into mall mode, kind of ushers you through, gets some peaches, she picks up some tea from the kitchen, and she takes you outside to your fire. You can see it's slightly drizzling and she set up um, like one of the heights, she just put some sticks under it so that it kind of functions as a bit of a, like almost a tarpaulin makeshift roof so that she can still sit outside. Um, looking around you, plant life seems to do particularly well. Other than that, yes. nothing seems really out of sorts. So, dear, where's everyone? Um, we found this little portal thing. It's like a magic doorway that can take you all different cool places. Um, it didn't quite work fully on me, and I ended up here. Everybody else ended up on the other side of a portal. I Ooh. apparently did some stuff. Sometimes magic doorways be licked at. They just take you weird places, and I've kind of just got used to it. Well, I'm glad that the weird place is home, at least. Me too. Yes. So, well, I suppose, how have your adventures been? And how is the best boy of all? And she gives Greggy, like, some scratches. And he's having a tilt to, like, Purr. And she's like, yes, I bet you your adventures were the best, weren't they? Turns back to you. So, so how were your adventures? I mean, I'm sure I could spend an entire ten seconds talking about my adventures. But I totally want to know how magic's happening. Like... Well, Magic's back? Not too much has happened, but um, it turns out I can make small flowers now. So oh. I think that's nice. Um, small steps. Yeah. The flower's good. I mean, I can conjure like eight wolves suddenly from nowhere and a and a wind wall, and I can turn myself into a tree, and I can... But, you know, small steps. I was. Dear, I get that you've never been able to show off these skills that you're talking about. So if you want to, I would love to look at it. You know, if you want to conjure eight wolves, you can Oh do my god, so. yes. I immediately jump up, find like the largest area possible. Um, and I just start to start like going for it. Or am I going to cast first? I don't know. I'm going to cast. Spells. I'm going to cast Zephyr Strike to actually stand up because you know you got to start off fast. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. that's going to be a Zephyr Strike to stand up. I'm going to cast Healing Spirit and make a frog jump around and jump on top of her. I'm going to. I'm going to cast Conjure Animals. Okay, um, Mar mark off your spell gonna... slots as you're using I'm them. Doing just... it. Okay. Um, eight beasts of of level one, I'm gonna do like eight bunny rabbits suddenly appear from nowhere and start jumping around the place. You see you later. Um, there's a wind wall in the distance, of <laughs> course. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna cast Guardian of Nature, because that's a new one to me, and a little tree pops out of my head. Um, yes. Now I'm gonna catch a breath. Wow! I didn't realize. I, I mean, Obviously, I knew you were special, but I didn't realize that you were capable of doing all that. That's wonderful. This is like what magic can be for like everybody. I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe you should drop the wind because I'm pretty sure the blueberries <laughs> are behind Sorry, it. Sorry, what? <laughs> You're ruining the blueberry harvest. Oh. Sorry. I stop the wind wall. Maybe some blueberries fall from the sky now. Like leaving small, like pss, pss, off, off, you know, the kind of um, dark red staining that never goes out. Lots of wolves running around trying to catch them out. <laughs> no, rabbits, funny rabbits. Funny rabbits. Funny rabbits. Yes. She she picks one up, just kind of starts petting it. That's really something. Wow, that sounds that seems wonderful, dear. Does it? it do you have to work a lot to get that? Does it take a lot of practice? I mean, yeah, I think so. Okay. 
I mean, I've done quite a lot. I've, yes. Okay. I've done quite a lot. Well, if you can conjure bunny rabbits, I don't think that will be particularly good for their grain. But I do like, and she opens her hand, and she just like the smallest daisy come out of it. I do like this, so maybe, maybe there is something to that. And so far, um, it doesn't seem like you've made a wrong choice yet. Well, I think my inner reaver would probably have to ask about new wildlife that may be showing up. Reaver, oh, like, he was still a broody young kid, wasn't he? Yeah. He, seems he generally quite is quite dark and pessimistic and maybe asks about like ghosts or like magical beings attacking and what have you. Is, it, is he alright? He seems to have like quite a, a, a troubled past. I think so too. I don't ask. You should maybe... You know, sometimes it can really help to talk about things. Maybe you should invite him for a tea at some point. A tea and a talk around the fire. I don't really talk well. Can it just be a tea and a tea? Maybe you should invite him for a tea and a tea. Two teas at once. Gotta do a lot. Double good. Mm. Yes. So... With, um this magic being back. Does that mean that um, that more people can just travel into the home unexpectedly? You know, I don't actually know how teleportation works. I think they have to have been here first to teleport here. I don't quite know. I think it's quite an advanced thing, so only strong magic -y people can do it. I can't okay. do it. Okay, but I see. People might suddenly appear. Strong. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. I see. I mean maybe maybe dad will return. Just saying. Do you think there's magic here. You see her like, take a deep breath. Well, who knows? We'll see. Good luck with that. L looks at her tea just as awkwardly <laughs> as you are right now. Like, <laughs> Oh, so yeah, wild, wildlife. Um, but yes. Then, uh, yes, no, there's. Um, I haven't a seen following. anything. Uh, oh. What's he doing these days? Well, not too long after you left, there were some of the younger folk and maybe the more hot headed ones who thought about returning to their roots and their heritage and to make sure that in his words to make sure that it wouldn't do anything stupid like Denarian he you know how he is he has gone with them and they traveled to Siam Now, I haven't heard from them since they left. Um, but I mean, that wasn't too long ago, so I presume they're still traveling. Quick map check. To Seoyan. Yes. That's the um, city in the hills. Yes. That's the ruined city where yeah. you have visited. Okay. I mean, I think some of my friends can, like, talk to people that are very far away. Okay. So I'd be curious to see if they can get in contact with him. That would be good, because I'm not saying I'm worried about him. 
But you know, sometimes you miss someone who just constantly has a sour expression on their face. I think of Nax. Yeah. Yeah, I can send that. Well, I think I might um go to sleep. I think at some point my friends are gonna try and get like meet me, I guess, maybe at some point. We should probably like walk across this continent and see how everybody is managing with magic and magical beasts. How are like warriors? Like do we have like because Florian was the strongest and he's left. So do we have somebody here to protect the village? I mean, you know, there's always plenty of... <sighs> We're all very capable, Daenerys, and I know that you can now summon eight bunny rabbits and turn into a tree, but we're not entirely incapable people. You started off here too one day, you know? This is true, but what if other people attack and they can summon more than bunny rabbits? Then we will figure that out when those people come, and hopefully they won't attack. There's no reason to attack us here. I've been hanging around with Reva too long. I'm gonna go sleep. Okay. It's lovely to be back. While you do that, I'll put out some food for Greki, because he's just been looking at this tea and I feel so guilty. You go have Thanks. a rest. And as you prepare to have a rest... And recover all my spell slots, oh my god. Cover well... Hold, hold that thought there. <laughs> You've not slept eight hours yet. But you prepare to have a rest. Technically, the rest of you have your short rest. Um, I'll do it. Just to check, how long does the telepathic bond last? I think it was one hour, wasn't it? I believe it's one hour. It's not very long. Okay. Yeah, definitely several if days. Okay. <laughs> if, if we feel the spell Time's fading out. weird here at the moment though, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm, Time. Mm -hmm. What is okay. time? Um, While you guys are having your short rest. Oh, short rest. Finn! Oh no. Could I have a wisdom saving throw from you, please? Ha <sighs> Sorry, I mean, yeah, of course. Um, this is a real good, good example of why it's important to journal regularly. Uh, 11 plus 11 is 21. 22. God damn it, Donald. I, I, 21, I, 22. The, bar, the bar was so low and I still failed. Okay. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. You hear just repeated in your head as you're focusing on where you're trying to go. Thorns. Um, what's his name? Magic? Yes, magic. There's no place like home. And as you have this sensation of like stepping and missing a step and almost falling forward, you find yourself in a very familiar environment to you. Oh no. As you are sitting on your bed in full. Oh shit. Oh my god. I'm not. I'm not even the same fucking continent. I'm not near any continent. Could have been so much worse. Oh, I, I'm just out of my bed. Yep. Do I remember how I got here? Yes, you remember everything. You're totally good. Oh. We. Guys. Hello? Oh. Hello? He Hello? Wait. No. No. No? What? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. You hear footsteps? I, I, I go out, I, I, I walk out of my room. As you open the door, you see Luna, Reaver's younger sister, open nope. the door more or less at the same time. You have to like, oh, hey. Hi. Oh, you're the Ron sibling I need to see right now. Uh, well, that's a bit she... rude. Sorry, where is your brother here? Is anyone else here? 
is the is Greggy here? Wait, why are you? Who's Greggy's the dog, right? Ah, oh, I miss him. No, why would he be here? Why would my brother be here? Did I do? Does he know that I? There's what? Well, why? Well, long story short, magic. Mm -hmm. Slightly longer story. Tabletation magic fucked up, and we're uh, across in dimensions. So, okay. I need to just hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm holding on. I'm going. I'm going to go. If I'm in Thule, mm -hmm. what time of day is it? Um, it looks to be like just past sunset. Great, perfect, perfect time. Uh, I'm gonna go to the wine cellar. Mm-hmm. Immediately grab a bottle. There's. You see, there's a lot more wine than there was here. Oh no, is it marked with dates? It is not. Is there like a 500 year old bottle of just like... Oh, uh, no, 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 not thinking about that. Grabbing a bottle of wine, I'm going back into my home and I'm sitting down on this on a bench or, or the sofa equivalent. I'm just gonna go... And cast sending. Are you okay? <laughs> like mid cast. Are you okay? I just hold up one finger. If I uh, before I cast, I'm go. No, nope. just two seconds. I'm Je sorry for being rude, but I'll be just two seconds. Okay, Jesus. Um, I cast sending. Mm -hmm. To Reaver. Okay. Reaver, it's been about an hour when you hear Finn's voice come through in your head. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Next message. I know, he gets to reply to that one first. Oh, he does that, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll go with the same thing. Ocean, mountain, where are you? I'm back on Thule. Oh god. <laughs> I am on Thule. Luna says hi. <laughs> I didn't mean for this to happen. <sighs> That's kind of a relief, actually. Thule's an easy one for us. Uh, Nax can get back there. You've barely sent a message, Reaver, when you get another message. Brother, I'm really confused and concerned about your friend. He's staring into space and just arrived. Oh God, is he okay? Think fast, you can fuck with him. Luna's never done this before. She has once. Oh no, she has once. Finn's fine. We're fine. Uh... Went to the Fae, everyone got scattered coming back. I think Nax will pick him up. You see her look at you, Finn. What's a Fae? Oh. Oh, right. Uh. Elves? You've seen, well, you saw, you've kind of, you've seen Eridrian. The, fa the very fancy, ostentatious wine partner I have. I wouldn't call him ostentatious. He's very nice. He's lovely. He is. Right, he's fancy and ostentatious. Okay. They're, 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 they're good characteristics. Okay. Uh, but um, he is from the Feywild. It's like here, but so much more complicated, and everyone is trying to do a like it's trying to prank each other, but but sometimes those pranks are you know costly, and you never make a deal there except everyone makes deals, 
And it's very complicated and you move by thinking, not walking one fucking direction. And then Finn just starts drinking the bottle. Um, she, she like, okay. just looks at you and starts doing the like, pat, pat, pat on the shoulder. Wait, As walks out of the room. Maybe a few seconds later, walks back in and dumps a cat on your lap. Like, here, just, just oh. go there, there. It will make you feel better. <laughs> a, uh, like a half pated gauntlet just goes, there, <laughs> there. <laughs> Cats have none of it. <laughs> wow. Uh, what? Oh, what does the cat look like? That's just like a tabby, you know, one of those. Like. A, a dirty cat. Um, one of those. No, no fancy. Everything's that's banged with everything on the street. Kind of cat. Yeah. Um, I, that's not Finn intentionally trying to hit, like rub, like the hand fist the cat. That's just uh -huh, the big uh -huh. gauntlets. Is Tori around, my raven? If you want it to be around, it can be around. Yeah. Well, they were. They were there when we jumped. I don't know if yeah. they're still there or yeah, they just. Yeah. Sure. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, okay, I've got the bird. I've got, and I want to check. I've got all everything. Like I'm not missing. As a you're leg looking or... around, Luna starts laughing. She's like, <laughs> I get you got the message on the sword. Uh yes, <laughs> I did. Ah, oh, that was really stupid. Yep. Yeah, I mean. Oh, thank God I could just... And then I just... Into my hand. Went, I kind of copied your brother, but I won't tell him that. Um, and... I won't tell him either, don't worry. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'll then set, cast Sending again. And I'll send this one to uh, Syria. And I'll go... Hi! Um, Finn said a bit streak. Uh, so, and if I'm alive... Sorry for not following everyone. Where are you guys? Please tell me we didn't lose Thorn or Grecky. You hear back, uh, like mentally, this kind of like this old voice. Finn, it's been three hundred years. <laughs> now nah, I'm fucking with you. Reaver did that already. No, we didn't lose him. All's good, heart. Then we'll I, don't cast more, I don't have words again. for more deeds than that. Mm -hmm. uh, but this one to Eridrian. Um, Guys, Finn just messaged me. He's alive. Hey, Eridrian. Not a fan of the of the Feywild, but. Good news. The wine is exceptional. We'll save you some bottles. I'll just reply with Your home sucks too. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, I mean I'm just gonna burn through these thoughts. I want I want to message Denerian as well. Mm -hmm. Um I don't know if he can. He's gone. If, if he can, so I'll message Nax. I'm Nax first. Oh! Wait, uh, yeah. Denarian, are you okay? Is Grecky okay? So, what happens if you get messaged while you're sleeping? I don't know. <laughs> Does it wake you up? Does it become part of your dream? I'm Have you ever. You know, how you, you know how you can dream talk? Oh, one talk. second. Let the message continue. Uh, Daenerian, are you okay? Is Grecky okay? I'm on Thule. Hope to see you soon. Your... I'll look at the window. Hut has fallen. I'll rebuild. Oh, it's for you. So, Daenerian, you kind of... You're you're fairly, I'd say, an alert person. You know enough of you know surviving that if something weird happens in your sleep, you know survival instinct would kick in to wake you up. 
So it's. But if I'm home, I think I would relax super fast. If you wish to make it part of your dream, you would definitely hear it. Um, what was it exactly you said? What would you start off with again? Um, are you okay? Is Grecky okay? Uh, I think I would sleep talk back. Something like, um, yup, yup. Good. Ooh, tea. Grecky, good. <laughs> um, I'll then cast sending another time for mm -hmm, Nax. Mm -hmm. I, I am marking these off, don't worry. I've only just gotten to the fifth level spells. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nax. Please don't be mad. <laughs> I don't know why, but cautious. <laughs> Hope you can teleport here. Will save you wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I spent the last two hours. I trust he told someone else where he is because he didn't actually say in his message to me. Reaver got Cheers, told. Finn. No! <laughs> Sweat intensifies. And you can see, I mean, all of this happens within the span of, like, what is it? 28, 32 seconds or so. So, I mean, you all, you know, it's not like Everyone's hours phone are passing. going off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but let's stick with Finn for the moment. Ah. Um, once I've done that, I'll just kind of, uh, I'll then turn to Luna and go, so how have you been? Well, I mean, kind of good. I'm bothering the dragon a lot, which has been great fun until she nearly dropped me off the mountain. That was less fun. Um, oh. but you know, Elris is really sweet, the, 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 the small dragon. <laughs> Um, I've actually, I've decorated, um, Noctis' home quite a bit, so, you know, I've been doing that. Oh, decorated. boy. Yeah, yeah. With pockets of water above the doorframe, or, like? Well, you see, I did that the first few days, but then I kept walking through it. So I decided that was not a good idea until I knew when, until I knew when he'd be coming back. Um... I've been bothering the Kaniga with loads of questions. I've been practicing. Look! And the entire room around you goes entirely dark. Oh, so, God. you know, I can make it dark now, which is super useful. And wait, I'm still getting the hang of this one. But if I do it now, then it should. Yeah. And the darkness disappears, but she has also disappeared, although you can still hear her voice. She's like, and now you can't see me. I can't. How are you doing this? Right, right, right. So when Noctis comes back, I'm going to be able to show him, you know, all the cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just really weird now I, talking to me while you can't see me. Yeah, I, f I feel like I'm, you're like some, I'm just probably looking at like the top of your head or something. I, I, it must be really disconcerting. It, it is. And uh, she appears again. Oh, okay. Uh, wait, is that your cat? No, that's, you know, it just comes by occasionally. Okay. Uh, no, this is my raven. Uh, sorry, and I'll just get up to, like, try to hop from my shoulder down to my hand. That's the only really new thing I learned uh, since I've been away. Looks at no, it. Impressive as visibility. God damn it! Oh, um. <laughs> that's cute. She pats it on the head. Like you know, it's not a real raven, right? What do you mean? Well, yeah. I mean, he's my raven, so. Okay. Well, just making yeah, sure that just... you knew. Well, just... I kind of summoned him out of the ether, so Oh, yes, okay. But, like... I thought you'd maybe just found him in the wild and you thought it was like oh, an actual raven that was no, a, a companion no. and then it wouldn't be an actual... Okay, that's a relief. 
Oh, wait, you can see that from like that? Uh oh, God, this is bringing so many questions. I'm not the best of this right now. I just traveled thousands of miles and a dimension in seconds. Oh. Do you want food? Yeah, food sounds great. There's this I... place in town. I always feel better after I've eaten. So, you know, yeah. we can go and get some unhealthy food. That sounds, you know what, that sounds fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then maybe some several more drinks on the way. In fact, I'm just going to take a to-go bottle and we'll just, we'll, we'll walk into town. That, sound, that sounds lovely then about now. Finn proceeds to do so. Okay. And it's weird walking into town. It's like, you know, no, no time has passed at all. This is very much same old soul where life just continues as it does. Very peaceful, very like relaxed. There's people on the street talking to each other. There's cheer voices. You see the occasional children running around. Um, temperature here. You've come from Orion, where it's midwinter. Here it is, you know, a, a cold summer is their winter. So it's in the evening, it's around 18 degrees. Maybe you don't want to stand naked in the wind, but otherwise it's fairly pleasant. I miss that so much. Uh, but that's a question I want to quickly ask. Luna, how long have we been gone for? Just out of curiosity. It's been Well, we left, and then I think it's like at least 10 days. And then there's the time when I tried to run up the side of the mountain. That happened when you guys were gone. So I think like a month ish. A month, okay. Yeah. Oh. Marissa. Yes. I mess I said I did sending the second that magic was returned on Orion to see it, didn't I? Mm -hmm, cool. Mm -hmm. Just double checking. Uh, I'm not gonna use my last fifth level for sending for see to let her know I'm back home. I'll just wait uh, okay. for a bit for that. Um, okay. But yeah, that's cool. Um, but it's, it's only been a month. I'm not seeing like children who weren't here before. But, I mean, you don't know every kid in town because you are in yeah. the capital city, but now it, it seems Luna hasn't aged um, visibly. Um, that means nothing with this family though. <laughs> fair. But as far as, as far as you can tell, like a month, would make sense um thinking back it kind of makes sense to you as well okay um if i remember correctly our house is on like the outskirts of town and we yes. have to go into town that way yeah. is the canegas house just like like as we're going into town like on the left no unfortunately not no. you have to actually no, go there enough. yeah yeah fair enough I'll go, I will. I will proceed to go with Luna to get some very unhealthy yet incredibly satisfying food, like shawarma or something. Yeah. Well, you know they're bigger on um, like fried vegetables and such, but you can definitely, if you're looking for super unhealthy kind of um, tempura style, you know, battered fried sweet potato, that sort of thing. Yep. So good. You like can certainly Finn get and Donald. Yeah. Like, Ah, oh, okay. Okay, returning back to Aglarond for a moment. You have all just had your messages from Finn. Uh, what's the best way to get them back here? I presume Finn told you where he was, because he didn't really say that in his message, but he did mention why. Is he... is he at his childhood home? No, I can fool. Oh! Oh, that's really easy. There's a teleport circle right there. Uh, yeah. Um... The Denerian, on the other hand. Man, it would be... so absurdly convenient if one could just... Mercer, are there any mirrors in this room? <laughs> Not here, no. Hmm. Sam like drifts off. Sorry, Syrian just drifts off, and then uh, shakes shakes his head. It's like, sorry, what we're we talking about? 
Yes, it would be. Um, that's going to be harder. Yeah. But I suppose we can fly now. We could. I could just fly down from the teleport circle in Cy in uh, Cyan, pick him up on trauma, and then fly back. With with, it wouldn't be too hard. How far is that? A couple days each way, with a magnificent mansion to sleep in, and my dream boat. Like, as as the horse flies. <laughs> be so much more convenient if I could turn into a dragon. Or grow wings, but it just doesn't work. Yet. I mean, if we could get Denerian to find a teleportation circle somewhere, we can ask him to send us the uh, address. Mm. That works. Don't say this. What are the chances of finding a teleportation circle in a continent that's had no magic for 900 years. Well, we found one in oh. Cyan. Sorry, Nat. Yeah. There must still be ones there. Whether mm. it has anything that is still visible to indicate how to find it. Imagine we're in the we're in Aglarond, the dwarves dwarven capital. Um uh Mr. Magic Weaver, Thorn, if I may. Um I don't suppose do you have something like, and I describe what a teleportation circle might look like and a couple that we've seen, like as a historical site anywhere in the city? I'm not actually too sure, but hmm. maybe. I don't know no. if it matches the exact description you're talking about. It might be designed, <clears throat> it might be designed a little bit differently. But, uh, ah, uh, perhaps? Okay. It would be convenient. And um, these things, so really powerful spellcasters have the ability to, like, to teleport, to, well, you know, I'm a learned man like yourself will know what teleporting is, obviously, sorry. Um, and sites like what I'm describing, teleportation circles. Uh, make, I've make heard sense. of teleportation heard of circles. Amazing. Ah, uh, um, Hold on one moment. Of course. And he gets up, walks back into um, what you presume to be his workshop. And you hear a bunch of like thudding, it sounds suspiciously like books being chucked onto the floor. Mm. And it comes back with what looks like a book that is almost falling apart. Nice. And um, opens it, like, now nah, hold on for one moment. <sighs> right. Um, I have here. W would this make sense? And as he turns the book around, um, basically over to you. To it you, Syrian. It looks like it could be a teleportation circle that is drawn on this page. Mm -hmm. Nax, can I get your uh, expert eye? If you're not busy, I don't want to interrupt. Max takes the book, has a look. <laughs> this is my turn. You kind of like you feel a bit of resistance as you tug it out of the guy's hand. Um, and do you speak dwarvish, Max? No. Okay. <laughs> then you don't know what it says around it, but the drawing on the page is very much um, that of what could be a teleportation circle. Yeah. And, and I you can certainly it. memorize it if you wish. Um, Sarian, I... looking over your shoulder, um, yeah. this is like <clears throat> as if someone has copied very, very old dialect dwarvish. Um, oh, it's okay. it's a bit archaic, but How um, archaic, quite archaic. Okay. <laughs> it speaks of um, basically this being important knowledge to have for any travelers. Um, even 
if it's no longer believed in and even if it is forgotten the pattern is and then there's the the teleportation circle on the page amazing <clears throat> i'd like to memorize it as well and where is this teleportation circle meant to be Sarian, you read that it lies below the fortress of a thousand tears oh fortress of a thousand tears well that sounds perfectly up I apologize, the accent creeps over me. Um, I miss speaking Dwarvish. Uh, it lies below the Fortress of a Thousand Tears. Um, so Mr. Magic ominous. Beaver, uh, Thorn, where... It's, it's like... Now you're not from around here, are you? Just uh, follow me. It opens the front door. Any historical knowledge that that might trigger for me? Oh, as you're walking outside, you can roll me a history check. I will just do that. Do I have advantage? Because I used to be a dwarf? Sure. Hey. Okay. Ooh. 24. As you're walking outside, is there anyone else who would like to follow? Yeah, y'all come with. Okay. As you're walking outside, you basically, you step over the doorway and you're thinking to yourself, wait a minute. Yeah. Is that not just what they call the main fort in the city because of the effect of dewdrops on it? And as you're thinking this, you hmm. see you're stepping out in this huge cavern, like a huge cavern doesn't even begin to describe the space in front of you. As you're walking out of this small living room, you find yourself just in this massive space. You see houses around you in your immediate vicinity, but you can see in the far distance cavern walls that also have lights coming off of them, what look like just light shining out of windows. And this space, is, this cavern is big enough that as you turn around, you can see in what must be the center of it, another small hill or mountain, quite unnaturally looking. Mm. You see coming out of it, this waterfall that you can't see where it falls. There's too much in like your, your immediate eye line. And this Gorgeous. mountain goes high up. And as you follow it up the way, you follow the line, the walls of this cave, up, 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 all the way. And you can just barely see the top of it. And this, this central mountain also reaches up there. And out of it, kind of built into it, reaching upwards, you see this huge fortress. It is built out of the mountain, built into the mountain. And it looks like the highest towers of this fort reach above the ceiling of the cave. They must be sticking out of the mountain surface. And you can see on the surface of it, a, like what looked like a thousand dew drops glistening in the light and constantly reflecting. And as you're stepping out, Syrian, you have this moment where you're like, of course, it's because of the reflection of the water, because of the temperature difference that's constantly there. The walls are constantly, and ah, yeah, that that yeah. that must be it. Well, ain't that just as pretty as I do remember hearing? R right over there. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Wow. Dwarves sure can build, can't they? Ah, uh, we can. Mm. I just stand there, like looking at it with an odd sense of pride, which doesn't really fit. But at the same time, like, we share a moment in admiration of this gorgeous architectural triumph. So what's our next plan then? Do we just let Nax rest up and go get the others yeah. behind us? I'd love to... I don't know. That's pretty important, isn't it? It would be awkward to just turn up there without people knowing. Uh, Mr. Magic Weaver, what's the... Say a group of travelers just appeared inside the fortress, uh, below the Fortress of a Thousand Tears. 
I feel that like that would be awkward. Oh, well, I would be. Yeah. Um, given that um, we need to gather our companions back to us, that's the most likely place where we'd return to the city. Uh, how can we go about doing that in a respectful fashion that doesn't alarm people? Well, I, th- y'all seem to be in a bit of a rush. I mean, it's more just I'm um, getting this out of my head now before I forget. Uh, wouldn't want to leave looking for our friends and then not normally ask. I'd ask for a formal audience and introduction. Um, mm-hmm. Do you know do I've got somewhat of a reputation? I could accompany you. That would be most helpful. Hi. Um, I think my wife's just preparing dinner just now, so I mean. It'd be after dinner. I'm not going to skip dinner for y'all. Yeah, Sorry. no, this isn't this isn't a today ask. This is a whilst I'm thinking of it, putting it on the to do list. Yeah, it would be entirely unseemly just to disappear on you after such gracious hospitality. We're not intruding, are we? Uh, we can find a, a, an inn or a tavern or, or some place to stay, uh, or some alternative accommodation. I mean, y'all are, but at the same time, I feel like I owe you for some reason. So you're invited for dinner tonight. And, you know, my daughter seems to think you're funny, so. I do try to be family friendly. Um, Yeah, well, if it helps you feel better about uh, any lingering sense of obligation, uh, more than happy to clear that off your mind for in as uh, unburdensome a way as possible. All right, well. Uh, please do do join. I'm afraid we don't have that many comfy chairs, but you know, I could do something about them. I, ooh. Would you like to see some really impressive magic that might make our stay a little less intrusive? And honestly, I feel, oh man, I feel we were disapproving already, but could make your uh, evening less burdensome on uh, chores and the necessities. It's quite a show. All right. This is a little spell I call, actually I haven't really named it yet, but if you know what it's called, and uh, I will explain to him um, about the Magnificent Mansion, and then at a place on on a wall of his choosing, uh, I could bring forth a door to my dream boat, where there is dinner and beds for everyone. I should explain this. The mm-hmm. moment you say that you could can have dinner there, right? There's yeah. a moment of like, mm, but we've invited you for dinner, oh, that's and it point. would be rude. It would be rude. That's forget about it then. Maybe uh, maybe tomorrow we can treat you to dinner um, as a thank you for a tour of the city and an introduction to the fortress of a thousand tears. That seems much much more socially equ- equitable. Yeah. So, as you are all served a very, very hearty meal, there's Mm. like sausages and bacon, there's quite a few varieties of um, mushroom that you get served with it. There's bread, you know, for dunking into the sauce, which is mostly made of the juices that come off your dinner. Is there anything you would like to do this evening, as you are two companions short? Yes. I have a list of people we decided last session that I need to cast Dream on to check in on the city of Orion. At the continent of Orion. Anything you'd like to do before you go to sleep? Let me rephrase. Fair. I'm going to continue learning the spell I started learning last thing. Okay. Oh, the non detection spell. Yeah, that's important. Anything else? gonna uh, what are the where are we staying like what's what's the what's the setup is it like there's like random beds there's like a pull out dwarf sofa that we're all sleeping on no or... but they are putting like blankets and such on the floor for you okay uh, hmm. you get the sense that there's a bit of a um 
almost obligatory hospitality. Like they've invited you mm -hmm. and now they'll make sure that you're comfortable. Okay. And it would be rude to invoke a seventh level magnificent mansion to show them up, so I won't. Even though it would be much more comfortable. Um, I'll, I'll wait until like... I just I want to keep a watch regardless, mm -hmm. um, because it, everything feels a bit like too okay mm -hmm. to be okay. <laughs> okay. Um, just with the, the the recent goings on and the fact that magic is now a thing again, and theoretically. Mm -hmm we might be at the point where everybody has discovered magic is now a thing again or we could be like maybe a few days later or earlier depending on what's going on um and also i'm pretty sure there was bad elves talking about it at one point anyway i'm just gonna like keep <laughs> there's too much shit in play for reaver to just be like okay cool yeah i'll just go to sleep so i'm gonna make sure there's like a watch or okay. at least Reaver's going to stay up for the first watch. Okay, okay. Noted. And in which case, Syrian, you have a list of people you were going to contact. Yeah, um, and I would mention something to Reaver, but he's running away and it's totally fine. Totally As you're about to talk to Reaver, you just see him walk over to like the privy outdoors. Mm. Oh, well. I'm not gonna wait up for that. Um, and um, oh, before I go off to sleep, I'll just um, telepathically message Lyra and just be like, "Hey, we haven't talked. Are you okay? Do you need anything?" Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Good night. Night. Do you sleep? No. Oh. Do you want a book to read? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Yes. Okay. Okay. I, I don't know how you can turn the pages, but um, hmm. here's my journal. Have a read, catch up with, like, learn my history, and if you have questions, we'll chat. Okay. In the morning. Okay. Or, yeah. Cool. Night. And I cast Dream. Okay. Target number one, Enzo. Okay. Um, what do you dream? I think the most, uh, like, um, you have an excellent point you're doing, but it's the only book I have. <laughs> um, it was the first one I thought. Uh, I will imagine, remember the scene where we're coming down out of the mountains and all the barbarians are like, uh, not barbarians, bandits. Uh, are standing like uncertain and on guard. Mm -hmm. It's the same scene, but Enzo stood where the um, the bandits were, mm -hmm. and I'm coming down out the hills in. I think I was Hilda. Uh, no, Alex at that point. So uh, that's how I shall appear. Okay. I you see Enzo kind of look around, a little bit confused, and look over at you. Ah, my friend. Enzo, it is wonderful to see you again. How are you, my friend? I am good. How are you? It is excellent. Apologies for um, bursting into your dreams unannounced like this. Um, but uh, as you can tell by the very fact that I am doing this, the curse has lifted and uh, magic is restored to the continent once more. This is real! Oh! I would faint, but I am dreaming, so I don't... Can I faint in my dream? Possible. And I prepare for him a coat, uh, uh, like a slaze, chaise lounge for him to f uh, faint onto, should he feel the need. He just kind of sits down and is like, well... He kind of puts his hand like through his very, very messy, mm. dark brown hair, you know, the bits of grey seem a little bit more pronounced. It's important like, to note that he, whilst he hasn't noticed it yet, the dream boat is floating up in the... Uh, above, behind okay. somewhere. Well, my friend, that is... Um, I'm glad you brought magic. 
I, I, it felt uh, important to check in with everyone that we know, found out that there had been an immediate response. I mean, we have word from a reliable uh, source that uh, magic has, uh, that uh, the dark forces that once assailed this place have not re-established themselves. But uh, I wanted to check in with you, you uh, see if you'd noticed anything. I have not, but tomorrow I will try straight away. Of course, of course. Uh, it is worth noting that uh, some of the descendants of um, the elves that lived here, uh, those who now live by the Crystal Lake, uh, they set out on an expedition to come here. Um, the, their uh, guardian, their leader, his name is Falrian, uh, and he knows us well. Um, just you seem to... Very... Ah, they um, already arrived. That's incredible timing. Has everything been okay there? Woo! I thought as much. Uh, they were um, not like your other elf companion at all. A lot more. Um, hey, I would refer to him as a hard ass. Yeah. That would be an, an apt description, yeah. They have uh, taken up residence and are starting to rebuild. Oh, that is Which is terrible for all the archaeological finds, like all the old rocks. They're just moving them out of the way to make space for new rocks. And it is true that there is uh, much history that can be, uh, I'm sure, discovered through partnership uh, and hearing their oral traditions and lining that up with what uh, information can be found today. I'm sure the opportunity vastly outweighs the inconvenience of the rocks being moved, surely. Well, Try to reassure Enzo. They're not really talking uh, so to us just quite yet about their traditions. And it may have something to do with the reception they got initially, but we're getting there. I think we've oh. started a a truce. That is good. I was con uh, when I heard they arrived unnoticed, uh, unannounced, uh, with Falgrin at the head. Oh, let me just say I'm glad that it is not Nicola who is still in charge. How is she? Do I remember her name correctly? She had the, the fierce she tattoos. She does not like the elves. That much. I. I the feel the that... one you named Fauri and may have hit her on the head. Oh. I, I don't know if that means he likes her or not. He's hard to read. I'm very certain he doesn't like her. Mm, well, we know what that means in the long term. He'd probably kill her. Sorry, what were we saying? I was lost for a moment. The, anyway, I, the, are you? Am I still gonna get the rest? Because I need to get up early tomorrow before the elves start building things and get in the way of I the old stones. To check in with you, um, if you see Falrian, uh, you should let him know that we have returned from the Feywild. We may uh, pass through here soon. We might not. It depends. Uh, Donirian is um, with his mother in the Crystal Lake, and all is well there. If you could convey that message, Donirian at the Crystal Lake with his mother, and all is well. Um, I have a boat to catch uh, onto my next stream, so it is um, probably about the time I depart. All right. It's right. mine. Have a good sail, dream, sleep. All of the above. Good night, my friend. Night, night. I let the connection fade and um, just, you know, drift up to the boat and um, have some fun, like, Sailing the the twelve seas of dreams, okay. and visit some memories. You know, there's things. Um, as you have your long rest, hmm. Finn, you're having a fairly pleasant evening, all things considered. Luna is definitely the more cheerful, mischievous version of her brother. And she kind of catches you up on all the things she's been up to. Um, she's been 
actually doing some furnishing. Um, you can tell she's done a lot of wood carving. She's actually tried to make the place look good. Um, she's cared a lot for the wine. She's been taking care of the fruit. She's been making a place feel more like a home. Um, she also tells you how she's been kind of taking, not necessarily classes, but she's been going up to the mountain a lot and basically talked a lot to the dragon, which to her feels like taking history classes every day and it's equal parts fun as that it is um, intense. And you actually find yourself having a, a relatively pleasant evening, you know, despite being on the wrong side of the world, so to say. Yeah, do I have jet, like, the worst jet lag from going from the Feywild to the Material Plane and then across the world? Like... You don't necessarily have jet lag, but you do have a bit of a... The Feywild was very... On hindsight, very dreamlike. Thinking back about it, you know, everything's kind of a blur. When when was it nighttime? When was it daytime? The days all kind of melt into one big happening. And now being back into the material plane, everything seems very real and there and solid. Okay. Just not just going by the table. Solid. Nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, quick question. I can't remember for life me. How old is Luna? Because I don't want to give her alcohol if she's like 14. Because... Uh, Okay, yeah, in that case, I will not give her alcohol um, at all because I know people would stab me up the gizzards as well as just no. Um, but Finn will keep, uh, have his, uh, we'll have some and have a lovely evening with Luna, but at some point would like to go to the Kanigas. Okay. Um, well, it's not, I'm not trekking. Ooh, actually, yeah, no, I want to go to the Kaniga. And then I definitely, definitely want to go check that Reaver's project is still intact. Okay, so you know that walking up the mountain takes time. Um, uh, if you do that in the evening, uh, you'll get there at like 2 a.m. Which, uh, if you wish to do that, it's entirely up to you, but you can also, you know, wait until morning. Uh, yeah, you know what, I'll see if I can, um, I'll go to the Kanigas, okay. that's not mm -hmm. all the way up the hill. Um, and if I pass any of the monks on the way, um, or Actually, uh, I'll get to the Kanigas, and before I go to knock on the door, I'll use Tori to fly up and see if I can see any monks like coming up or down. Okay, so quickly using that um, <laughs> bird's eye view. Bird's eye view. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't see any um, activity on the mountain right now. It's also quite late. So, Fair. you know, anyone going up or down, there's a few people maybe walking down the way, like on the way back home. Um, mm -hmm. But it's a bit late for any traffic up or down the mountain, per se. Fair. Fair. Um, in that case, I will uh, knock on see if it's door. So the Kanega is Armina. The, oh, sorry, the, is the Kanega's door, not see if it's all the way up there. The, yes. She doesn't have a door, she has domain. Yes. Um, <laughs> Um, Luna will accompany you, by the way. She seems Sweet. to be very eager to hear everything that's happened and is very, very curious. So oh, unless I'll you make any her... objections, she's coming Oh no, you. she can totally come along. Also, okay. if, if I told her not to, she'd just turn invisible and follow me anyway. I'm get, I kind of get that vibe. <laughs> Probably would. Yeah. yeah. I'm insightful. Finn's insightful. Uh... <laughs> As you knock on the door, um, you see the Kaniga herself, very much her usual very serene figure, the blonde hair um, and the two braids down the side, the long kind of aqua dress that's just held together in the middle by um, a shirt or a scarf. Open a door, it's like, oh, good evening. Good evening, I know. I'm surprised to be here too. <laughs> um, uh, um, would you mind if I came in? Uh, or no, if no. This is a just um, a little bit of a... Do come in. Yeah. Uh, Finn will head on in. Uh, I, I know I keep saying this, it's been a month. She's not just like extra old. She's just, she's fine. She 
if anything, she looks a bit ageless. Like she's got that very serene, you know, nothing has happened at all. You don't know, the world may have ended. She'd probably still look like this. She takes you to um, to a kind of a, a gallery, you know, it's, it's open and it looks out onto the gardens. Um, but you do have that little bit of privacy. Sit you down. Would you like any anything to drink? Any tea at all? I would. I feel like I need to have some tea for uh, a companion who's not here at the moment, uh, alive, but just not here at the moment. Okay. And she kind of gestures over for someone to get some tea. Well, it's a bit late for visitors, so. To what do uh, I owe this unexpected pleasure? So, um, well, it was unexpected for me to be here. I'm meant to be about 4,000 miles that way um, at this moment in time with my uh, companions. I unfortunately okay. uh, suffered from uh, a bad case of the Feywild. Um, I see. Um, I'll, t I'll regale you with all the details, but I, but the long short of it is that magic has returned to the continent of Orion. Okay. We found what was causing it, um, and at, in the center of the continent, there was. Looking back to the notes. Oh gosh, man. It's, you know when you try and read your own handwriting and it's somehow worse? Uh, there was a creature uh, guarding a crystal who was there for probably a thousand years. Um, their name was Ajamalek. Sounds terrible. Um, they were left behind to guard this repository of magic for the constant when a race of shapeshifters were unleashed upon the constant and they slowly went mad. Okay. Um, but they are now at peace there is magic return to the continent mm -hmm. and my companions are currently over there helping a man back from the Feywild and we are going to hopefully try and teach the native population to use magic responsibly you see her quickly glance at Luna good luck with that yeah I know I know, Weaver, feel, Weaver feels the exact same as you do right now. I doubt it. He's not here, and I am. But joking oh. aside, why are you here? And why are you here alone? Well, that's a very, very good question. So, we got back, I've tell, we've teleported before. Mm -hmm. uh, as well as you know mm -hmm. um, you were you were instrumental in the process but this time was we used fey magic uh, by ingesting cherries hold, hold on as she says that you hear the deep rumbling and beating of massive wings and you see from the gallery down in the garden the landing of this gigantic dragon turning into the form of a younger woman who walks up the stairs oh, I came as soon as I got your message she says to the Kaniga you're back alone okay yes first of all lovely to see you um, everyone's alive, um, which is good, um, but 
yeah, we're back alone. I, as I messaged you when it, the moment after, magic is back on the Orion. Uh, back on the concept of Orion. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm back here. They're all still on Orion, for now. Okay. Um, and I believe I was just mentioning the method in which we did it was because Faye teleportation cherries. And I thought of home and wound up here. Well, that's just, you need to focus whenever, I mean, you need to focus at the best of times with the Faye. Yeah, I mean, I'm always focused around Faye, never unfocused. Okay. That's where your problem lies. Mm -hmm. Okay, magic returned. Interesting. So you're split now. But at the not, moment. Did I not dream with Seathinth and brief her on this? Yeah, yeah, you did. Okay, just checking. I wasn't imagining that. Sorry. Uh, yep, uh, but they'll be, they'll be here next. There's a, there's a circle he uses in the garden. Uh, so he'll be able to get back. No worries. Okay. Um, but uh, the, yeah, I think it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's all fine. Probably. I know that he's got a few circles here. The wizard will be able to get them back. No worries. Would you like some strawberry wine, by the way? I bring a, I, like, I've brought a bottle just over because I feel like it's rude to come over and not provide a gift. Uh, it's homegrown, farm to table. Well, that's nice. I would love some. And you see her reach over and even in her, her human form, like see then she's got ever so slightly darker skin than most people do around here. Her, her blonde hair is almost golden. There's these streaks of this kind of like metallic, um, brassy green through it. She like just kind of grabs a cup, empties whatever was in it, and just holds it out to you. And pour a generous amount. Okay. Ponders for a moment. Quick question. Can I? Obviously, I mentioned the fact of how I got back here, and mm -hmm, the Kanegas mm -hmm. point emphasis on the fact that I came back alone. Mm -hmm. uh, can I get a vibe off if that's, oh, you're back here alone, as in, oh, that's okay, or, oh no, there's something terribly wrong that you came back here alone? You can roll an insight check. Yeah. Nope, that's that's disappeared now. Uh, oh, I think that's. Yes, it is a natural 20. Okay. Uh, uh, so that would be plus 11. That would be 31. Both the Kanika as well, Seathen, seem confused more than anything. Okay. It's not, not concerned. Uh, well, concerned as in... Um, it's not what they were expecting necessarily. There's a concern for you. Oh. Yes. Oh. Although from the Kanika more so than Seathen. Yeah, who's okay. more Sorry. there exactly she's just you know there to hear the tale um but yeah they're concerned for you and there's definitely you know you, you can see that see then got a bit of a like yeah whatever they're fine they've got a circle sure but the Kaniga, you can tell from her face that she's kind of trying to think with you a bit more mm -hmm. um yeah and I'll well, just, as I continue pouring, pour, I'll just tell them how everything that happened. That's not already been explained. Um, both of them, as well as Luna for that matter, listen with great interest if you tell them everything um, and if you talk to them about the Feywild. I do. Mm -hmm. And I do my best to, at times, I don't think of, no, I don't have any. Spe uh, special minor illusion cantrips and anything like that. I, uh, I try and act as if what Siren would to not necessarily embellish but just fancy the story okay, okay. a little bit uh -huh, while staying uh -huh. while remaining fa factual. Mm -hmm. um, 
as you finish your story, Kaniga gives you a like, well, I'm glad you've got a circle here because, I mean, I'm not too familiar with Orion. I don't know if I could have teleported you anywhere on that continent. I think in that case, what I would have done is... Actually, I don't know. That's a very good point. Um... Huh. Oh, no! I know what we've done. I would have gone back to the house. I would have grabbed a personal item of one of my party, given it to you. That would probably that probably would have worked. It's worked for us in the past, where we tracked down the yeah. God King with items before. I I I certainly would have been willing to help you on your way back. Um, but it'll be good to have you all home, if only so that this very annoying child, for once, can be out of my hair. She says, "Wow, with a, just." A, no, she says it with like a um, a smile. There's there's clearly there's there's a bit of familiarity there that mm-hmm. you know the Kaniga is the ruler of this land, and somehow Luna's in there in the living room having an in joke. Yeah, yeah. Seethan's mostly quiet, just listening. Just drinking the wine. Enjoying the story. Yeah, but int- intently listening. She's definitely taking in everything that you're saying. Okay. In what in particular about the Feywilds? I presume? And Partially, Tatiana? Yes. Definitely interested in Tatiana. Mm-hmm. Oh. When I mention Tatiana and the king, is there any anything on her face about that at all? Oh yeah, Tatiana, you know, was last seen. By her intruding mm-hmm. on her territory. Oh yeah. As a oh, dragon, yeah. that's a big no go. So the moment you mention Tatiana's name, there's definitely a bit of a sneer on the face. Mm. Mm-hmm. Not surprised the glass would just go in her hand. Way too dignified for that. Fair. I should catch them up to speed. Is there anything else you would like to do? Um. Not really. Uh, apart from tell them everything that's happened. Um, apologize that we didn't find any of the was it amber stones that we were. Varian has been obsessed with finding fire opals in this mentioned. Fire area. opals, Opp- that's what it was. Opportunity. Um, and oh, I then also ask if the hallowed ground is still intact, but it, not saying it out loud, but just. So the recent project that Reaver and I did up there, is that still okay? I mean, as far as we're aware, no one with bad intent has come by. Let's put it that way. Good, good, good. But so, everything seems fine. So Reaver did the one at the top. Mm-hmm. You and I did the one around our home. Yes. That's where it was. Like, thank you. Yeah. Which is right. probably why the connection. The connection. Sorry, the connection was there? Well, I don't know. The the mind link. I'm wondering if that's the reason that we could uh, link to you because oh. it's Nax's magic moving. Or was I was probably later. still in transit. Oh, was yeah. it an hour later? Oh, okay. It was, no. it was lag. Finn was lag. Yeah. I, I, I was, you know, I was flying. I didn't have Wi Fi on the plane. You know, it was just, yeah. Fair. Travel mode enabled. Um, But yeah, then I'll just. uh mosey on back i'll take i'll make sure to take luna with me so she doesn't annoy uh the Kanega, um and just toddle my way back okay. um hopefully see my friends when i get home as she walk by she kind of she t- she talks quite a lot like she's very chatty um she kind of chatters on she's like oh by the way there have been apparently i've heard um there have been people visiting Thule, but, you know, visitors, outside of Thule visitors. You know how that's kind of a big oh. deal? Because apparently, or so I've been told, apparently you guys were like the first in ages to arrive here. So uh-huh. apparently there have been, there's been a, a new boat with new people come to visit. I've actually not seen them yet because obviously, you know, they're still the coast. But I was thinking if you guys 
we're going to take much longer. I might as well travel down there because, you know, something to see. That would... Oh my god, yes. So, tomorrow, we'll go on a trip. I mean, apparently it's a few days away. Okay, I've done this before. We'll get horses. Okay. Sounds great. You can tell me all the embarrassing thing that Noctis get up to that when I'm. Not oh there. my god, there's so much I need to tell you. Oh uh, my god. <laughs> and I'll just start making up stories about Reaver and just uh, okay. how he tripped and fell over some mud in the Feywilds, and now he smells forever. Okay, 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 fantastic. She's greatly enjoying it. Um, and you two can go home, have your long rest. You all wake up in your respective sides of the world. Okay. You can regenerate your spell slots, your health. Oh. You're all next level, and whoever needs to reset spells can reset spells. Reset. Amazing. Um, my first order of business upon waking um, is Lyra. It's still around. Yep. Where I left her. There. Amazing. Yeah. Um, I and I say to her, I will definitely. Did you find? Can can you read with the cl covers cl closed? I don't know what it's like being you. Um, no, reading. I can't. No, you you have to let me be a person to read, and even then, I don't know if I could. Uh, I don't know if I could touch pages. I could try. Okay, we'll experiment sometime. Um, I can just tell you stories in the meanwhile. Okay. The four of you wake up. Having slept on the not uncomfortable blankets, but still on a stone floor. Like, you definitely have a bit of a, a sore hip bone. Mm. Yeah. What would the four of you like to do? I really want to see what the fashion is like in this place and go clothes shopping. Hi. Um... We have a plan. Hmm? What yeah, was that? we're not going to go somewhere else. I mean, our spells work on a once a day cadence, so, you know, we have to go straight away. Uh, I, we we kind of need to grab everybody, like, soonish. Like, okay. Then the first part, port of call should indeed be then securing permission to use their teleportation circle, yeah? Permission. Just do it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but then it gets awkward after, but, uh, like, quick question, Dungeon mas Master. How how many uh, other people are in the room with us? So are far, just the four of you. Just the four of you. It's yeah. awkward if you have to break Finn out of jail. You'd be fine, obviously, but just imagine the inconvenience of Finn, because, he, you know, if he was arrested, he'd just go with the cards. Why would Finn be arrested? Because Finn doesn't have permission to be in the place of that is like at the center of the city in what is potentially very culturally or militaristically important location. Why does Finn? Be, I'm confused. What's your plan? Uh, well, Thorn said uh, that he was a person of uh, repute and influence, and could get us in and like let people know who attend the place that. People will be teleporting now. Not, don't panic. Don't assume we're I've, being invaded. I've, that's that's where I'm at. What do you think? I don't know how that. I'm still confused by your plan. What's your plan? Uh, get Thorn to show us around the place so we don't appear like lost invaders. What that's in the place we're going to appear in. Yeah, the in the. City, the the fortress of a thousand tears because there's still things to do here. Right. I assume we gather here. We dropped okay. off the dwarf. We're done. Uh, then before we leave, I'm finding a fucking fire opal. I will not be dissuaded. I have a dragon queen to impress, Eridrian. You know what that's like. No, I don't actually. Okay, well, of course, you have something. You have uh, you have the queen of uh, summer and uh, light and flowers and life and change and so many other titles. I lose track of them. 
Uh, she is truly magical and impressive. And wouldn't I mean, you've seen someone so beautiful you thought you might die. I've seen someone so impressively powerful. I'm like, I really want to impress that person. And I really want to impress that person. So I'd like to try and find Fire Opal and either barter or buy or get one for this very cool dragon person that I'm trying to impress. Jolly to say that the longer we are uh, separated, the yeah. easier we are right. to pick off by the person who is currently hunting us. It's true. It's true. And so I'm just... It would be awkward to come back here and I don't want to... Yeah. Like... Mm. Like... You want to impress a dragon rather than keep our friends safe. Fine, I suppose when you put it like that, I have my priorities slightly askew. Oh. You're correct. But we should still secure permission to, um, like, appear in the teleportation circle of Aglarond as a sensible thing. Are, are we going to have to then... Do we know anyone's actually going to be watching it anyway? Uh, it seems like quite an old thing. They might not be that bothered. I think it's Thorn just going to be a mosaic, right? Or like a... Thorn said it would be awkward if we appeared, and so I'm all in favor of, like, avoiding awkwardness. Don't make it awkward. It's one of the rules of the high gods. Never make it awkward. I'm sure it'll be more awkward for them. Indeed, yes. I'm trying to protect other people from you, not us from them. I, so I should have been clearer about that. So what we're doing is, in order to make it not awkward, we're going to walk yep. in to uh, large get a large tour by Thorn Magic Weaver, reputed scholar, and herald then, of magic. And then we're going to explain to these people that we are going to appear out of thin air just on top of a very specific circle. Yep. Because that's how teleportation works. To a bunch right. of people who don't know what that means. Thorn knows what it means. But the important thing is preparing the way. This is this is a so, um, responsible introduction of magic to a culture. Okay. Isn't it? I don't Isn't know. That, it, it, it is. Telling people what to expect and then asking their consent before you do it anyway is very important in society. Okay, let's go do it then. Yeah. Favor, and what happens if they say no? Then we cast invisibility before we do it. And what happens if they put lots of big spikes there? Then... I don't know. Oh, yeah. I think it's Mil much less likely for them... Like what, you, said it was, you said it was like military, right? I don't know. Oh, I, it you could said be. it was an important... Oh, because I figured... It's called the Fortress of a Thousand Tears. So I if, so if you, so if you that tell that. a military force that there is, in fact, just a big circle in the middle of their very, very hard-to-reach fort that people can just jump into, do you think... That's maybe going to go not quite in our favor. What would be worse? Using it? I mean, then we'd have used it already and we won't have any issues. Indeed, as a great many people have said, it is easier oh, no, to ask forgiveness it. than permission. Yeah, but I don't forgive you. So there. I haven't but asked for forgiveness. bought me pastries, so even if I don't forgive you, we may be even. <laughs> Nax is uh, trying to find that book again in the correct place in it, so we can get the coordinates and oh, you've got this. Like <laughs> busying we, about. We both memorized. There's enough yesterday. space in this room, right, for a circle. Actually, there oh. is. You're in a nope. really. You're in a big room. Um, <laughs> oh God, no. Yeah, you could absolutely make the space. Work. <laughs> this is this is terribly rude. As you start busying yourself next, Reaver. Shit. Okay. Uh huh. You hear. <gasps> Tell Apotamkin he cannot hide, no matter how he shields himself. Tell him it will not be just him next time. I'll find his weakness. Just you, in your head. Uh, I, sorry, I don't know an Apu Tem Ken? Um, but just to be clear, you can find all the weaknesses of 
whoever it is that you want. It won't matter. It's a threat. And then I'll, I'll leave it like that. Um, and then I turn to Nax and I'm like, by the way, um, I, I feel like, uh, bear in mind for shadow presences, I think that uh, there's probably something bad happened here. I think your assassin just spoke to me. You're muted. You have just muted yourself. You are muted. I, I am muted. Uh, Nax puts his hand up and he's busy drawing the circle, so isn't fully paying attention to everything that's been said at this set. That's fine. Uh -huh. Night. Yeah. You're just kind of like, yeah, okay, okay, whatever. <laughs> Night. Okay. Um, make sh Because I feel this is going to cause an international incident if we don't at least have Thorn Magic Weaver with us to explain what the fuck we're doing if we randomly teleport to the thing. Can I go and find him and just be like, our wizard friend has got it into his head that the best way to get make it to the... Uh, to, to make sure that this teleport circle is working is just to use it. I just I can't talk him out of it. It would really help things if you could. I I what? I turn to Aridrian, seeing Sam walk out the room after what I said, and be like, right, I I said like watch out for assassins, right? I had I said it out loud. Is it? Am I speaking too quietly these days? Like, uh, <laughs> I think I'm, but still. No, you're definitely speaking perfectly clearly. Perhaps some people are just not very good at listening. Okay. Sarian, as you walk out the room, see Thorn, a kind of this very, very heavy looking, um, like, robe, very much a, I'm just out of bed. You know, the, I don't want to say bathrobe, a house coat, yeah. Heavy, heavy flannel kind of thing. Yeah. I was like, ah, morning. Good morning uh, to you. Circle use Abbott. <sighs> oh, this is terrible timing. What's the worst that could happen, am I right? If that's your professional opinion, uh, being more familiar with the culture of these parts than I am, then who am I to naysay you? My dear friend, you appeared in my home yesterday. I don't know where you're talking about teleporting. I have no idea. I genuinely appreciate your hospitality. I'm you still like trying to figure out whether there were six or five or four of you. So I'm happy to be alive and, you know, in the same home as my family. Mm. So you don't want to come with us to the Fortress of a Thousand Tears? I can provide you an introduction if you wish, but... Um, I would love it, because... I, well, I'm... I have to be honest, um, my wife might be a tiny bit concerned about the consequences she could be bringing here if you can just waltz into her home like that. Um, she may or may not have told me that she wants you gone by lunch. Then we are, in fact, obliging you right now, um, as... Do you hear that ominous chanting? Well, that is the... I assume Nax is chanting ominously, he always is. Um, uh, we, are, we are in the process of leaving uh, for the, the Fort of a Thousand Tears. I would, it would be wonderful if you could come with us and provide that introduction in person. Um, oh god, how long does the spell casting take? I hurry back. Yeah. It doesn't take long. Um, <laughs> As, as soon as I relay the message, mm -hmm. um, I cast, uh, I, my eyes kind of like glaze over and then the slits go into crosses and I cast true sight. Okay, which lasts for an hour, right? It does last for an hour, yeah. Um, as you do it more or less immediately after you've cast the message, mm -hmm. you can definitely see what you're now almost familiar with, the sh shadowy figures watching you, mm -hmm. not Max, who's wearing his ring, yep. but you. It's just just watching. Um, I, I just give it like a nod. Doesn't seem to react. Um, I think at this point it's abundantly clear, but we're being watched. Uh, 
that's out loud to the room. Your shadowy friend is here. Max kind of pays a bit more attention now. <laughs> Sorry, what? Uh, you're, um, the one that's after us is, what's up for you? Is, uh, having a, having a good look at what we're up to right there. And, uh, I just kind of, like, gesture towards the area that the, that the shadowy scry thing is sitting in. Wow. Does that change much for us right now? Um, no. I don't think so. I mean, it depends. Um, um, I tap my head to Max. I mean, Max, you are currently casting a ritual spell. You'd have to quit the one to do the other. You can't do both at the same time. It's so a circles, not ritual. Oh, me. okay. You're just proper. Never mind. Carry yeah, on. I don't think it even is an option to ritually no. cast it. It's Absolutely just one right. that you can cast lots and lots of times to permanently do. I'll pause though. I've drawn most of the outline of the thing. I'll pause in that middle and then carry out the practice motions almost as if I've done it so often now. <laughs> Come back into the room just as you're finishing casting the spell. Mm -hmm, right. mm -hmm. Ah, good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, where do you set the teleportation circle to? Oh, is that the telepathic bond or the teleportation? That teleportation. Was the bond, the... Yes, that was but the... where do you want to set your teleportation circle to? What is your your destination? That's a good point. We were going to go to a thousand places because that was what we were just talking about. Although we could just go and see Finn. And. Um, it, and and the the main channel to Sam, uh, Reaver, <laughs> Reaver's like, uh, so we um, brought with us uh, the the shadowy assassin person. That's oh, that's not this. We should leave. Um, they're already watching us right now. We should um, leave. But uh, just. Just to just to like kind of clarify, should we leave these people some gold and maybe tell them to go away for a bit? Because um... possible, I I think if we uh, we should not go to Thul because it'll make picking up Denarian much harder. Uh, if we are not going to the gate here in Aglarond, then we should go to the city of Cyan. Uh, it'll make picking up Denarian much easier. Just because I know jumping long distances when you don't have an exact, like, focus thing. It nearly ended badly a couple times. I'd be hesitant to try it uh, from Thule again. And I just have this memory of that crushing pressure. That darkness. So th I think we were going to use the teleportation circle to get back here from Thule, right? Do we have a tell? We don't have one for here, do we? We do, that's... You do uh, now, from the book. Yeah. Oh, is that the... right. That's for here. Yeah. That's what do I we mean. have... It might be a, a drawn-out version, but you are intelligent enough, and your, your spell casting is advanced enough that you can memorize that, and you'd be able to, you know, transform that from a small page image to a bigger teleportation circle. Uh, do you... Are we talking like, are you thinking about, I don't know if Nax has just teleported. Uh, no. Are you saying, do you say this like in the chat, just like, can you just teleport? I'm like, I can just teleport to a circle. Mm -hmm. I can also make a nice little door and teleport a short distance as well. So we can all walk through. Marissa, are there any um, mirrors in this room? So, uh, some it's, of it's, the tools that are standing around on the desk, there's definitely some mirror-like surfaces there. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, um, 
so Syrian uh, hears this uh, this request of Nax. Uh, can you just teleport there and just like gets this? Just it's like it would be really convenient. And his his eyes trace around the room, land on the mirror, and they kind of like zone out for a moment. And he said, "If you could just walk." reaches out for the mirror there and cast teleport at the seventh level to where to denirian <laughs> instinctively never cast a spell before as is tradition with yep. uh this character doesn't know they're about to cast it the first time now i believe that there are a few Clauses when it comes to teleport. Well, this happened yeah. in quick succession. Get ready to roll, foot. <laughs> <laughs> um, the destination must be known to you on the same plane, which it is. You are familiar with it because like, you've been speaking. there. Ooh. So, could I have the D100 roll, please? Good. My specific target is, do you remember that lovely night we had where we were um, chatting with everyone in the, there was the campfire. We told stories about uh, our experiences and why. That's, that is the memory that I'm aiming for as I roll this D100 and D&D Beyond. Uh, 79. 79. I hope it's good. Okay. Okay. Hold that thought. Raised by his elfin mother as a single child, Denerian's mom told little of his human father. Apparently he was a great man. Growing up in a secluded village, there was no religion or magic, there were barely visitors. Here, there was only the circle of nature. Denerian made himself useful to his clan as hunter, but he never stopped being distracted by life outside the forest lands, and his curiosity of humans often got him in trouble. Even more so, when he learned that somewhere people could apparently do magic. Finally, and not unexpectedly, the day came that he set out, against the wishes of his peers, and ventured beyond the forest. Denerian found that there were many things he wasn't ready for. Currency, for one, was an entirely foreign concept to him. He also learned that people can be cruel and harm for fun when he freed and stole a wolf pup from a trader's cage. Yet none of this deterred Denerian from wanting to enjoy the crazy chaos of the wider world. When he heard rumors that magic could be taught in a faraway capital of a different continent, Denerian and Greki boarded a ship. They would not return to Orion for a long time. The stars were especially beautiful tonight, Lady Jane Akeldia thought to herself. The pride she had once felt at her accomplishments turned into a resentful nostalgia. She sighed heavily. It had been too long since she had fed, and looked up at Simon. Her mind was already processing her next steps as she led him to the large bed. She would sate her hunger, and in the clamour of her concert's unexpected passing, would declare herself in mourning and leave her estates in the care of the heirs to the dynasty she had created. She would take on the persona of Samantha, a young woman disguised as Samuel Ransward, a travelling bard. A mask over a mask over a mask over a mask. Common practice for the 900-year-old shape changer. All that she had learned was that being long-lived just meant watching the people you cared for die. Nothing had given her the satisfaction she had sought. Not family, not power, not the gods, not even selfish fulfillment of her every passing desire. And so, after centuries, she finally gave in to Wanderlust and left Orion in search for the thrill of adventure. Even when Fenric Jameson was just a small lad, he had an affinity for helping those who needed it. It started with a small bird with a broken wing that miraculously flew again, and from there evolved into apprenticing at the local temple, where he learned the arts of medicine until his 18th name day, after which he travelled south to learn healing on the road. A plan put to an abrupt end when bandits attacked him and robbed him of all but his name and knowledge. Going from doctor to beggar, Faith was quick to introduce new opportunity to Finn, in the form of a dying dwarven man. And by saving the life of first mate Usenthor, Finn was granted the position of ship's doctor aboard the Bleeding Crow. Here, he lived an adventurous life of scavenging, exploring and smuggling, although never killing. But more importantly, 
He lived a life as a trusted friend of Captain Josephine, the devil underwater, equally feared and respected. He would never have chosen to leave that ship. That choice was made for him by Captain Soren, whose dark history with Josephine Finn never entirely uncovered. The doctor was thrown overboard with no knowledge of what happened to his new family or Josephine, the captain he was slowly falling in love with. Instead, he woke up on a small beach, close, torn and stiff with dried salt. With gritted teeth, he set out to find the nearest city and means for revenge. Waking up in a strange place, sore and nauseous, Nax couldn't quite remember where he came from, or how he ended up in this endless field of long grass. All he remembered was that someone or something had seriously pissed him off. It took him some time to find his way across this strange landscape, and when he finally found a city he was starving and angrier than he had ever felt. It didn't take him long to find the nearest tavern, where he proudly demanded the guests make space for him and serve him his food. I said leave, lest you be damned. <laughs> when they laughed in his face, the anger was tempered slightly by confusion. Why weren't these peasants quivering in their boots at the mere sight of him? Nax raised a hand to neck level in a choking grip whilst lofting the other overhead as if cradling some orb. Nothing happened. Rage was now replaced by confusion and perhaps even some fear as he snatched some food and ran, huddling in an alley with only a cloak to protect him from the elements. Slowly the realization dawned on him that he had lost something very important and that he would have to work like some lowly wizard to get it back. Stealing a spellbook and focus, he picked up a rumor. The royal family was looking for an object of great power. Something he could keep for himself, perchance? If you are a bandit in the north of Pedina, you better watch the shadows. Tales tell of a carnage fueled demon that will find you should you gather too much fame. The Grim. It has been some time since Noctis Reaver took on that persona. For him, the story started when bandits pillaged a small farmer's village he lived in, when he ignored the knife at his throat to save his sister. As he lay on the floor and felt life leave him, he bargained with death. You are willing to pay for your soul by servitude and for her life with what is equal to her worth. With the dagger that slit his throat in hand, Noctis took up the mantle of Bounty Hunter and started the laborious journey of evening the skills. It was a few years later when a royal courier came looking for the Grim to get rid of some nobleman the king himself could not be seen taking action against. His Royal Highness King Ansel would be most pleased to hear of your acceptance of this task and would be most grateful for your services. Noctis didn't care much for his employers. A soul was a soul. Completing his task with ease, he set out for the capital of Astrakhani to collect his payment and to collect a new unexpected job, one that required him to join up with a motley group of five, who he introduced himself to as Reaver. Loving to play parts of mystery and intrigue, it was both mantle and name that Eridrian put upon himself. Leaving an unexciting life and a sad past behind entirely, he surrounded himself with the more magical and dangerous aspects of the Feywild, and became an emissary for the Seely Court, spreading the good word. Yet curiosity still plagued the Aladrin. Often he went to those big doors wrought from golden branches. No noise could be heard through them, but he knew court would be in session. There had to be another way in. Searching the ever-changing halls, a voice like a soft summer's breeze interrupted his sneaking. Lost a path? And ever since, Eridrian walked with renewed step, and in her name. His journey to the material plane began when he received a direct summon from her to find and retrieve an artifact of great power in the form of a book Setting out, Eridrian infiltrated a strange and dull palace, working together with a group of hired humans. Dodging traps and guards, he managed to retrieve the mysterious tomb, its cover slightly hairy and of an ever-shifting grey colour, and with a closed eye on the front. Wanting to quickly escape, he used the plane shift scroll that Tatiana had given him, only to feel an uncanny tug mid-teleport. And rather than finding himself in the Sealy Halls, 
he found himself unceremoniously dumped in the bathtub of a very confused doctor. Denarian! It is morning. You wake up, you've slept, and you know, familiar environment, familiar smells. Start of the day, is there anything you'd like to do? I'm gonna go swimming, fall out with some trees, um, usual Denarian stuff. Okay, I'm gonna climb swimming. all the trees that I couldn't climb before when I was last here before I left. Okay. And the particular difficult ones I'm gonna actually fly up. Like hat tree showed you. You definitely you're getting a few looks from like, you know, the local youth as you're doing this. Obviously, magic might be bad, but not everyone has magical boots that stop them from falling. Sucks to be bad. Yep. So they definitely give you the like looks. The water is especially this time of year cold. You have to like <gasps> as you you're forced to have a deep intake of breath, but it immediately wakes you up. Greki's pedaling around next to you, walks back out, shakes himself off next to you, you know, you're covered in mud and water. Perfect start of the day. You do just what Denarian does? Anything specific at all? Nope, just okay. Denarian stuff. Okay. As you go about your business, looking around the place, you know magic is back, but it doesn't seem too different. There's maybe, you know the people that look after the plants usually, a few of them seem to have a little bit more of an affinity for this than they used to have. There's definitely, um, it's almost like nature is reacting to their touch very actively. But other than that, play seems fine. Cool. Okay. Sarian, how do you teleport? So, um, the mirrored surface kind of like expands until there's like a, a full length illusory mirror um, that shows what the image in Sarian's mind's eye of where, where they're going. Uh, it's very heavily inspired by the time Sarian uh, was taken into the maze through the mirror. Um, and he just reaches out, touches the mirror, and suddenly we're on the other side looking through back at foreign magic weavers uh, home there's possibly even a moment of him being confused at our departure because uh, i do not actively intend to bring him with us um it would be rude um and that is the then as like the of uh, wind displaced uh the image of the mirror that's standing there just uh blows away with the wind uh much like sarian's illusions do denarian you're sitting at one of the higher trees in town, you know, quite chuffed that you've anti-fallen up it. When in the clearing of your village, where normally the great fire sits where everyone gathers round, you suddenly see four of your companions appear. Max, Eridrian and Reaver looking confused as fuck. Uh, sorry, and two. Oh, and Sirian too. All of them looking confused as fuck. Because you they're behind them. it in like an ash pile that is usually the campfire. Not in the fire. Ah, in you say fire. that you definitely have one foot in the fire. Yeah. New, okay, new spell. I, I yep. New spell. He did. <laughs> yeah. But like immediately, Sirian realizes what happens and like jumps in ecstasy at the freedom that has just been unlocked. Uh, Max, uh, you missed. We can teleport! Oh no! <clears throat> it seems I've gained a new ability uh, whilst we were in the Feywild, which makes sense. There was a lot of um, desire based walking. Maybe I took some of that back with me. Why <clears throat> didn't you do this sooner and reveal it sooner? You wasted all my energy. I will repay you a thousandfold in flesh and blood, I am sure. Uh, I didn't know. As is. 
a wonderful tradition with my magic. It comes unbidden um, the first time. I don't think you have that much flesh and blood, Cyrian. I can I can regenerate my uh, flesh quite easily. Uh, such is the power of being what I am. You know, you take an arm off, I just transform into a creature that still has both arms. That's 100% how it works. Daenery and her voices drift up. I will just whistle loudly to myself from the top of the street. <gasps> Greggy's here! I mean, Daenerian's here! Hello! I will anti fall down slowly towards him. That is so confusing. Thanks for the rescue. Uh, you are most welcome. Uh. So, did everybody get teleported in weird places when we tried to go for Faye? It's taken so long to gather everyone together. Who's I'm quite sad that I missed out on the bay. Or my memory missed out on it. The one team they had. But Quick it was such a nice place. Yes. Can I. I could try restoring them to you. I mean. I'm very skilled. At... Sorry, Reaver, you're about to say something, and I keep interrupting you. No, no, it's just a point of when we landed, Reaver would have looked to see if the shadow had followed. Gone. Gone. Okay, yeah. cool. That's fine. Then Get uh, everything goes as it has intended. Uh, if Reaver had landed and the shadow was there, I would have dimension door five, 400 to 500 feet away from the village so that there wasn't a, a weakness of you. Mm-hmm. But if it's not there, then that's fine. It was probably just in confused as we were. Yeah, I can I can interact with people's memories. I can try restoring them to you. I mean, it was all good times in Fey, right? I want all the memories back, oh, right? Yeah. You can't even remember that you can't remember it. As in, you don't know okay. that you're missing. I think we told me. him that he's oh, missing. Oh, yeah, so yeah, sorry, yeah. I keep but... ignoring this fact, though. Because it confuses me. Like, would that... Do you... I... I'll give it a try, yeah? You're not in the middle of anything? Is it all good things to remember, then yeah. Cool. Alright then. And I reach out, put one hand on each side of his uh, face, and cast Modify Memory. And I am attempting to modify the moment he came back. It can only affect a 10 minute uh, duration of memory, but I have a plan. Okay. Um, do you let Sarian do this, Daenerys? Yes. Cool. Okay. Um, the first thing I do is I phrase this as the experience of waking from a dream. Everything ha- like has happened recently, but it kind of is drifting away. So I am attempting to just give him a speed playthrough of his yeah basically dreams happen really quickly and condensed so that's what i'm going for like you ha- do remember that um the casting spell the casting mm-hmm. time is six seconds yes you do not have a lot of time to Ooh. describe the memory uh... you must speak to the target to describe how his memories are affected and it must yeah. be able to understand your language Okay. It mind, its mind fills in any gaps. If the spell ends before you finish describing, then the creature's memory isn't altered. That's right. The duration of the spell, though, is one minute, which is, I believe, how long I've got Sorry, time. Sorry, you're right. Yep. Which is 10 rounds. 60 yep. seconds. Yes. Exactly. So one I minute. explain in broad strokes how we step through the portal into a, a abandoned a city that was ruled by... A, the Mind Flayer creatures, those monsters uh, from the door, um, and a giant Elder Brain. Uh, and they had corrupted nature in that area, and we fought them, and we killed them, but it came at a great cost. Um, and your father came to save you from that. Uh, it was a wonderful moment, uh, but he said that it had cost him to do that. And you said that you wanted to go and see him as a result of that. We traveled through the Feywild. We met a scary Archfey lady. Uh, you saved some pixies who were very grateful and very happy to be free. Um, 
Finn drew a magical card that was maybe a good thing, but probably a bad thing. Ridwin drew a magical card that was definitely a bad thing. <laughs> but then we carried on. We met Tatiana, the, uh, the summer queen, the, the autumn queen. Uh, it was a beautiful court. People wore masks. There was a uh, fawns. There was a king named Oberon. Um, uh, anyway, uh, Ridwin got called Farstrider. That's his new title now. Um, and you made a lot of friends and got dance and went down. The spell naked. fails. That was me finishing. God damn it. Just miss your one minute, Mark. Aww. <clears throat> Let me try again. <laughs> you cast again? Yes. Okay. Remember to mark okay. your relevant spell slots. This is my I second. I believe that you can talk faster the second time. Yeah, I've rehearsed it now. Um, if I don't, if I'm not, if Sarian isn't confident, then I'll write it down and time myself and do it later. So, Denirian, this is technically you're not altering the memory of ten minutes, mm. Sarian. Um, you're trying to make someone remember something. I am. So, Denirian, you are not. You don't get your memories back. It's more like you... Your memories are changed because you allowed this to happen. And what you remember is when you return to your village, you've almost had a dream about what happened in the Fae. And it is what Syrian described to you. These few flashes of memory. So, you remember remembering <laughs> yeah. a vague outline of what happened, but you don't have any details. You only have what Sarian just told you. That's, that's, that's more or less what I was hoping for and going for. But there's no... Um, it's like you remember a, a story that's been read to you. There's no sense of time that it's comes kind of like with the story it. that Sirian just told me. Yeah, but there's but no has... there's no sense of time, and I think specifically to you, there's no sense of smell, no sense of touch um, that comes with that. Um, questions. Yes. She said my dad came down to save me, but yeah. it was an expense. Yes, so I th here's here's my interpretation of what happened, and I can I wrote down some of what he said, so I can read that back to you later and give you a a proper major image of what he looked like. Uh, but um, I'll, I'll put my hand on Sarian's shoulder just as it were, I, and say you didn't mention specifics. You just said it was a great cost. I I know. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh hey everyone. Oh, one second, Denirian. Hi! You see, the Nurian's mother ever watchful, especially when her son is around. Always. Mom, go do the thing, do the thing! But, with so many people watching? I'll, I turn my back. I believe in you. Okay. She opens the palm of your hand, and you all see a small daisy appear in it. Smaller than yesterday's Denarian, like That's definitely small. like a teeny tiny daisy. That's amazing. Is it? Can I touch it? Yes, it's just a flower. She hands it to you. Oh my gosh, this is. I will treasure this. This is beautiful. Thank you so much. Wow, it's real. I can only make illusions, and I conjure up like something that's just smoke, basically. Well, this this is this is real. That's such this a is why this have. is why we bought magic back. You know, such I mean, a... it's... it's... And I inspire her. Denarian can make eight real rabbits, so, you know. They are adorable. Did he tell you their names? They have names? Of I mean, course they do, Denarian. They're not technically real like Greki is, though. Different kind of real. Okay. Are they called Ori, Nori, Ori, Oin, and Gloin, Biffa, Bofa, and... Bomber? Others. Balin, <laughs> Balin? I, I was trying to count the numbers at the same time. I was like, have I got to eight or not? Nice. 
Well, I'm glad you're all here because I realized there was some confusion. Sorry, were you just talking about his father? You have an incredible hearing as well. Yes, I was. We encountered him. We met him in you the never past. told me about that, Denarian. Oh, I can't remember it. I, um... It a seems that lost. For most people leaving the Feywild, it feels like a dream. Oh yeah, I went to the Feywild as well. Tyrion, shut up. <laughs> I mean, uh, just a I'm sorry. Dando in, in the Fey. Apparently. Do we need to have a talk? Probably. Nah. It was very safe. So we yeah, so for her. Yeah, we went we went under the invitation of the Queen who bade us um it was it was very um That's it was very, not quite the part that I was focusing on. I know, but I was attempting to reassure you about the safety of yourself. Which of mm. course is uh, Reaver leaves. If everyone else would like to leave so I can handle the situation with my usual tact and diplomacy, um I'm I'm down for that. Did either of you had questions? Uh, I can go into more detail or less detail. Denarian, why don't you tell me what happened? I can't remember. I drank lots of alcohol and forgot my experience. What actually happened was the Feywild tries to keep its me your memories of it with it when you leave, and um, he was unable to take those memories with him. I, I, I wonder if that happened to Finn as well. You didn't neglect to tell me anything, did you? No, not that I can not remember. Okay. Well, I suppose that's as good an excuse as any. I think so. Um, where is Greki? Where is the good? Where's the best boy? He's been there the entire time. Oh, do you remember your time in the Feywild, Greki? I switched behind the ears. He looks very oh. happy, kind of like glances over at Reaver's long stick that Reaver, you know, quite often throws for him. Currently, if I'm correct, the form of a trident. Um, not there. Not there? Mm -mm. Greki gives you a searching look. I pat Greki on the way out of the... Out of the clearing? Out of the home. Uh, yeah, out of the clearing. Like, um, uh, basically, I want to get into the tree line. Okay. <laughs> and keep going. <laughs> Just like, yeah. About family, family drama, not for me. Well. So. I see that you have some things to work through, Daenerian. And I'm confident that you're able to do so in your own time. I just trust you to let me know when the time is right, okay? Very. If, if any of you wish to have any tea, you know where to find it. Otherwise, I'll be just over there. She points over like a little bit away. Just making sure that we can actually have some blueberries after Denarian blew them all away yesterday. You did what, Denarian? It's just a wind wall. To show off. That's for protecting people against arrows. Oh, I never thought of using it against arrows. It's quite clever. I have an hour of true sight. I'm going to walk around the village on the way to the exit to okay. the side of it, just mm -hmm. to see if anything is completely, like... They're all changelings. Irrelevant. Like, yeah, something that's not like it was, or someone shining, or <laughs> um, etc. Ev everything currently seems okay still. Mm -hmm. Um... With magic back, I'm pretty sure that true sight also appears into the ethereal plane, doesn't it? It does, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. This place is very full of um, imagine animals enter the uncanny valley, like. It's like you see, you know, very, very small figures of what looks a little bit like bunnies hopping by, but the shoulders are like slightly too high. It's like there's almost his own 
small reflection of nature in this area, but it looks, it looks trippy as fuck. It's like everything is slightly, it's as if you're seeing the shiny shimmering figures of animals that live here, but all slightly distorted and disfigured compared to what you are used to. Hmm. Does it look unpleasant per se, but it does look weird. Yeah. Very weird. You're like, that's rabbit five eyes. Yeah, like exactly. Kind of... Exactly. A bit like that. Yeah. All right, yeah. Um, yeah, and I'll just, um, I'll get to the edge of the clearing. Mm -hmm. um, how dense is the tree? Um, at the edge of the clearing, it's not too dense, but it definitely gets denser the further than you go. Okay. Um, just having a good look around. Like, I'll just do like a mm -hmm. perimeter. Roll my perception check. Um, do I get any kind of advantage because? No, but I have taken it into account. Okay. Uh, 17. Okay. Wait, do I have a plus one? I'd quite like the plus one. What was that first? Perception. Yes. I do have a plus one. Is it 17 or 18? That's, that's 18. Okay. There's nothing magically out of sorts in a way that you don't see anything um, unbecoming. There's no invisible creatures hiding around here. You don't see any illusions or anything that isn't supposed to be. Um, do notice that there are very, very small acts of magic happening from the people here. To the point that they might not even seem to notice it. But there's definitely... Um, and this it's, it's somewhat reminiscent of how Denerian interacts with nature. Like when, you know, when he talks to trees, you see the leaves of the trees almost slightly turn towards him. That, that time he spoke with plants when he couldn't speak with plants. That time he spoke with plants when he couldn't speak with plants, for yeah, example. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a there's there's definitely there was a connection here when you came here the first time, and it's almost as if there's now a response okay. to that. And it's it's very subtle. It's not um, you know there's no fireworks going off. There's no plants that suddenly sprout out of the ground, but it is, it is subtly noticeable. Are the wee ethereal bunnies and stuff like that more attracted to the, these little areas of magic or is there any kind of like go between? Um, they definitely linger around those spaces, maybe more so than other spaces. Okay. Is there anything Denarian that you'd like to do here? What do you want to do? We were talking. Any, any follow-ups to that? Also, I've just realized I didn't introduce myself to your mother. That was terribly rude of me. Could do it. I, not right now. I just shout over to her. I have to. <laughs> I, I feel, I feel like there are questions you might want answered that we should attend to before I introduce myself. I mean, my question is, uh, you, yeah, going back to my dad. Yep. He, what, what did he have to pay up to save me again? Yes, well, he appeared to save Greki specifically. Because Greki was very badly hurt. Um, and you swore terrible revenge under to all creatures like the, 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 there was this giant brain that could read your mind and there's things with long tentacles that try to like consume people. In your um, head, but... Denarian, you are imagining like people, but with um, <sighs> kind of like octopus on their faces. Yep. Yeah, I'm imagining just flying octopuses. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Also that. I will, sure. I will. Um, but your dad appeared, and he was like, man, he was so tall, and he had really bronze, like, cool bronze skin and big wings. Like, I think he was like 12 feet tall, something thereabouts get exactly how size categories work in terms of height but um he said and i got the he's from a place called the realm of ion i-o-u-n and um 
leaving there without permission was breaking some sort of rules, but he cared about you enough to make it worthwhile, and that he'd probably get in trouble for it, but that it was a price he was willing to pay, and he said you should come visit if you get the opportunity. Did um, he mention how I can visit? Well, we've got the amulet thing that can take us to any place, I think. A- any Maybe place? Any other reality. Uh, but I don't, we haven't looked into it in great detail. But we know the name of the place. And you said that it was the thing you most wanted to do after we'd finished checking that Orion was not on fire. But I think we might have to save Nax's life first, because... There's been people trying to kill him, invisible people, and assassins, and something from his past that I don't remember how much was he told me and how much was revealed by the Dungeon Master. Daenerys and Sauron is telling you all of this. Finn's not with them. Okay. Um, okay, okay. I mean, that sounds... I do want to go see... Where my dad came from. Yeah. I also want to make sure Ryan's not on fire, and then I feel like I still owe Nax a favor. So, the order at which you said that was all good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And Greggy's fine. Cool. Um. What about the other one? That's Finn. Who? Finn. Oh, I forgot. Wait, no, I know Finn. I, I've never met anyone called... No, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, we're having too much food of me, and I shouldn't take it. Oh, if you're missing... I have many house. kinds of tea. Next time I make you tea, who knows what could be in it. I am sure... Yeah, great, but... I, I fear, honestly, the brutality of your revenge. But I hope to placate you with tea puns. That would work. I feel like it would. You're a good friend. But um, where has been, though? He's in... I think I heard he's in Thule? I, I get the feeling, like, you ended up here, and he ended up in Thule, like, with Luna. So I'm getting the feeling that you guys went home, and we stayed on target. So whoever told us to think of home when we came here... Did someone tell you that? Or did I... someone tell you to think of Thorn Magic Weaver's home? doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, I probably miss well, the Thorn well, Weaver magic-y person. The Thorn Magic people. Weaver is a dwarf um, who was chilling with um, Queen Tatiana and she asked a favor of us to take him to his home. And we did that and then the invisible assassin person came and was we, we were like, we have to leave in a hurry because we didn't want to invite destruction on their home by being like, there. I look um, at Nax. Nax is here. That means invisible assassin person could come. I'm, Reaver's not here. I feel like Reaver's on the lookout. I feel like Reaver would be hurry, hurrying us the fuck away if invisible assassin person was here. Reaver. No, they're a lady. Fuck. <laughs> what? You see up here next to you. Hmm? You see up here next to you. Uh-huh. Very familiar shadowy figure. <laughs> I just I'm standing sure. there. Just looking. Um, Reaver sees this. So, yeah, just um, I'm deep in the tree line. Yep. Uh, what I do is I put in my hand and summon this out. Mm-hmm. Jam it into a tree nearby. Mm-hmm. And just uh, sit on it. Uh huh. And pretend like I don't see them. Okay. Just looking off into like just the kind of trees, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. beyond. And I'm just gonna be there for a bit. Last for maybe five minutes. Mm-hmm. A little bit awkward. Not for Reaver. Not for Reaver. <laughs> maybe for them. I hope so. Before the figure disappears again. We're still all connected in the main thing, right? Yeah, Nax had set you up. Daenerian's not in it, though. Daenerian's not in it. Um, To the party, Reaver gives off the whole, like, the shadow person's really keen. They were watching us again. Um, I am out in the woods, though, so I don't think I've given too much away. 
Um, I figured they seemed to be following me, so I figured I'd get some distance between us while everything was going down, so everybody could have a chat. Yeah. I'm currently relaxing in a tree though, so um, just whenever you are ready. Um, I don't know if I should maybe come over there, just in case they've moved on to one of you. Mm. Anyway, Denarian, uh, sorry, um, party chat. Uh, we'll get you on next time, next, someone's up. We need to reconvene with Reaver, who uh, is out in the woods somewhere, and then we need to go and find Finn, and then we need to figure out what to do about shadowy assassin people, because um, they are quite tenacious. I I hope I'm never as famous as Max, because like, there's a bit of a toxic culture surrounding his fandom. Like, the four fans that we've met have all tried to kill him. Venerian? Oh, I thought you were talking on pocket party chat. No, no, I was talking to you. Oh. Because everyone else heard party chat. Okay, got it. I mean, I think we should leave this place if he's going to bring assassin people with him. I concur. It's not safe for the poor, innocent, undefended people. And it seems like our two missions are to check to make sure this place isn't burning down and to save Nax. From Can we do two of us at the same time? I think so. Travel to Possibly. a local big place with many buildings. Ask isn't that around. The, isn't that the last place we want to go? Come, let, let us. And I. I uh, uh, yeah, dimension yeah. door into the room. You dimension well, door we to where? Into the uh, Just next to them. Okay. Turn around, yeah. Reaver. Uh, looking around. Uh, anybody here? Hi. I'm here. Well, you're parking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. No shadowy figures. Okay. Hasn't been to anyone else. We should go. Yes. Let's find a place uh, for next to make a teleport circle and then head back to the safety of the wall. Mm. Plan our next moves because that our homes are warded, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh. I mean, like, gold certificate or silver? Who gave us the award? Who's um, giving awards for homes? You go make a circle, I'm gonna go say <laughs> bye to everybody. Okay. <laughs> Be quick. Uh, I... I'm gonna prepare the circle, but I'm not gonna put the address in until the last possible moment. Okay. C can I get, like, a glass vial from someone and put the daisy in there? My anchor to teleport Maybe back. Maybe has one. We he puts like fingers and things in it. It's a point. There's lots of like bottles. You'd be better yeah. pressing it in a book. Ooh, I have a journal. Denarian. I run out and find as many people and say that I'm heading again. Okay, you find your mother. Alessi is actually not too far from your mom, and they're clearly having. They're they're clearly talking about you. Like when you approach. They do the thing where they go quiet, they look at you. How's the forever? They look <laughs> up to the sky that you're also standing under. Alas, he's right. Stupid question! You know it. What's up? Are you I... off again? I'm off again. I have a friend I need to save. And we need to run around this continent and make sure that people aren't burning down because of magic. Well, off you go level. then, off you go. It sounds like you have very important things to do. At first, come here, she kind of pulls you by the cheek. And you're like, ah, you still, still seem healthy. Good. Passed the cheek test. Perfect. <laughs> now remember, even if you can't remember things, Look at Greki. No, no. Thanks. Your mom just gives you a hug. From that, I run back to the tent. Okay. Denarian running back next. Cool. I look towards Reaver. And then I finish the spell. Okay. Finn, what have you been up to this morning? Oh. 
I made a hearty breakfast mm -hmm. um, of all like, but mo it's mostly just whatever could have been scrounged about. I, I don't know if Luna's managed to find chickens or anything like that, but uh, basically walk into town, grab stuff for breakfast, come back and make a Thulean fry up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, which has an odd amount of strawberries and pears involved, but uh, mm -hmm. but that's just a fruit salad. Mm -hmm. um, and probably talking to Luna about going to the coast, because that's where we first arrived, and trying to see if she's got any further details about these people that have mysteriously popped up. Like, is like, oh, so how big's the ship? Is it quite small? Is there a very, like, quiet crow's, um, man, oh, wait, no, I know that, I know the fucking is, it's all here. Uh, crow's nest? Yeah, well, because uh, that, that's, we, no, Reven, uh, is the, was the crow hand, then there was, um, oh, no, I, f I don't know exactly which, basically, it was the it was the crew there i know that there was a tiger lead uh nine nina nina thank tiger. you the wear tiger yeah mm -hmm. i'm basically doing a terrible job both as donald and finn of misremembering the crewmates we had for months uh and just what just prodding like do these sound familiar as i give caricatures of these people She's like helped herself to a portion of the breakfast, regardless of whether you made some for her or not. Oh, I totally made. I totally okay. made enough for. I've seen how much Weaver eats. I've just made like enough for three uh -huh, people. Yeah. For she's her. she's a teenager, so she's definitely like she's doing that thing where she's eating, um, and oh. she's talking to you. She's like, "Well, I don't, I don't actually know. Um, apparently, it's quite a big group of people." And and th they must have come by boat, but obviously I've not been down there. And you know, it takes some time for people to travel up here. Um, t a tiger. I don't think they brought a tiger with them. Although they, I think people said they were quite colorful. But no, there was no tiger. Okay, cool, cool. Oh no, that's fine. Uh, just we had some. The the way we got here beforehand was with a crew, way back. What feels like years upon years ago is probably only like, you know, nine months ago, but... Uh, I mean, Noctis did talk about a boat that you came on, and sea monsters, and... Someone uh, jumped off the boat, I think he talked about, there was a, I can't there, remember. There was, someone jumped into a tornado, and it was the wrong tornado. <sighs> and I think someone had to be harpooned back on board. And then, You have a lot of wild stories to tell. Yeah, and a lot of them involve Daenerys shooting one of the party. Like, it's <laughs> odd how often that happens. I feel very boring in comparison. Like, oh, man, no. I don't have a lot of stories to talk about. I've just seen a lot of people come by just before they died, you know? But that's not that interesting, I think. Haunting. What, what do you mean by you see a lot of people come by before they die? Like, as if, as in, you go to a hospital? Or, like, do you just go around to people's houses like an omen? <laughs> like an omen? No, of course I don't go to people's houses before they die. That's creepy. See, that, see, con like, that's why, that's why the way you said it is like, wait, do people come to you before Yes, like of course they can. Well, I mean, I suppose it's kind of like my previous home in a weird way, you know? They just come by and... Uh, Oh boy, how do I say this? Um, let's just say my mentor, if you will, you know, would explain to me how this works. It'd be like, look, you know, th there, these are all the people and now they're not people anymore. Whoops, there they go. D but there's still lots of people that come by, you know, young, old, some that look like human and some that I think are in your description, Fae and there's just all sorts Other of people weird see these people? Or is it just you? No, it was just me. Oh. There were no other people. Well, other than the dead people. But they didn't stay for long because they went on to be dead. Is this whilst you've been at Thule or is this before you came to Thule? No, no, no. This is before I came to Thule. 
Right, sorry. I thought you were on the island and people were coming to the island to see you before they die. I, right, okay. That'd be like people making a pilgrimage to me. That's really I, I, See, that's oh, where, no. that's what I thought for a second there. And, no. okay, and this was the place you were before you came to Thor. Mm -hmm. For we knocked us, came and got you. Mm-hmm. What was that like? I mean, you know, it was all right. I don't know. It was a lot, well, I say lonely. I mean, I had company, so I suppose I wasn't that lonely, but if the same person keeps you company every day, you know, it gets a little bit monotonous. And I was your mentor. But yeah, but then at the same time, you know, I saw a lot of people die on a day, like a lot of people die on a daily basis. So in a weird way, I saw a lot of people just never for that long. Wow. <laughs> just this is it fits in turn log. There's so much to fucking unpack there, and I am not equipped to deal with this. Uh, on the other side, he goes, Would you like some pear juice? Oh, I'd love some. Um, look at it. How? Can I do an insight check and just on like yeah, you okay? I'm, I, like yeah, just I'm more than just like uh, so they've just revealed to me something that would normally break most people, mm -hmm, and they're mm -hmm. quite okay with this. Mm -hmm. But are they actually okay, or is this all just you the can mask certainly of... run insight check? Yes. Yeah, because this the is Weaver just... family is just biologically stoic. That's twelve plus eleven, twenty-three. Oh, no, not 11. 10. Uh, 22 is that's, still pretty high. That's yeah. twice you rolled 22 on um, your side. You think that maybe if someone of an older age had said this, that they might be screaming while saying it. But she is quite young. She just talks about this as if it was a part of her growing up. Yeah, it doesn't, Pedro doesn't know any better. Yeah. Kind of like when a kid falls and you pick it up before it has time to react. Yeah, exactly. There's no need to cry if no one else makes a big deal out of it. In that, no, now knowing that Finn is not going to make a big deal out of it, just like, oh, okay. I th well, I think she does realize that there's something different. Um, mm. And there's maybe a little bit of a, a bashfulness but at the same time, you're having quite a good breakfast together, you know, and she's a teenage girl. She's having someone to talk to that she considers a friend. So she's maybe a little bit less tight lipped about things than she'd normally be. Yeah. You're quite, I was just... you're quite cool, you know. High fantasy. Uh... She thinks you're quite cool. <laughs> yeah. Um... Now, in that case, uh, Finn won't pry, but he's just noting it down that about the mentor, the visitation, the between realm, people visiting her before dying, and yeah, that's a lot. Of, but um, we'll have breakfast, and I'll say to the so it may take a few days. I'm not sure when people get here, but I can literally check in six seconds um when they're planning to get back okay um because i can really check too not... oh god yes what so do you, you think can. happens if we check at the same time oh my god do you want to find out yes okay wait wait wait, wait. three wait we're doing we're, we're gonna do tweever yeah yes of course yeah yeah of course yeah you're good yeah. okay 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 three three two, two one one Hey, Noctis, <laughs> when are you going? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Both go at the same time. Do it. Oh, no, I, I didn't want to do that because Discord was just going to be like, yes. that's 100% what I want to happen. So but I will do the same, basically. Hey, Reaver, how are you doing? Are you going to get back anytime soon? Party. As you are about to be teleported, Reaver. You're like it's fucking nosebleed. Oh. Yeah, exactly. It's a split <laughs> second before you go. There's just this cacophony in your head of both Finn and Luna speaking 
really fast at the same time. And then the smell of a late breakfast. As Ooh. all of you find yourself in the backyard of your homes, where the teleportation circle is in full. Late breakfast. Weaver smells toast. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it, it wasn't the breakfast. That it was the being message said, at the same time. <laughs> You oh. and Luna, no idea this happened. You're waiting for a response. Oh no. Uh, did we break it? Did he? Maybe, maybe, maybe he sent a message, but it didn't know where to go. Mm. Can, sh I mean, if. Can, like. <laughs> can can windows see open. through the window? Yes, you can. You I see them, I just, both of them are I, like concentrating. I, 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 I like dip down, go along and just like slam both my hands against the window. <laughs> and at the same time, <laughs> reply the message in my head with just <laughs> screaming. <laughs> the nosebleed. So the four of you watch as you see Luna and Finn inside and Reaver outside and you can hear the muffled screams and then Reaver go, ah, you can hear from the inside the, ah. I, Discord, so, the Discord didn't pick up my screams, but. Uh, they were there. I can imagine them, yes. <laughs> as you've all reconvened on full. Uh, first off, I transform back into the Sam who is uh, local to this place. Mm -hmm. um, and then I summon trauma. Okay. Gang's all there? Gang's all here. Cast that spell. Two of that spell. <sighs> um, I go ahead and give Luna a hug. She gives mm. you a hug. And then, like, a punch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Hi! You can't have breakfast. I ate it all. Uh, and she looks at you, Finn, and she, like, takes the last piece of toast and puts it in her pocket. In her pocket? Yes. Is I gave a look of, I saw that, but it's okay. I, I, mm. uh -huh. uh, oh, God, I missed this place. Uh, it's, hi, guys. Uh, oh, the guys are back together. Did you forget the Faye, too? What Faye? No, I'm kidding. Of course. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't forget. Did you forget? Apparently, I forgot. I tried oh, well. to take, tried to pull all our memories away, but um, it's a oh. shame. I bet I had really one nice thing I didn't teeth. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what happened, but I guess I thought of here when we were teleporting. So. Hmm. We've caught, oh, I've caught Denirian up on the major moments in brief, not too much detail, of um, what happened whilst we were there. Um, but importantly, assassins are trying to kill Nax and they keep scrying on Reaver. So we figured we'd bring them here where there were wards. Do we need to set up traps? Nah. I'll go shopping some sticks. If I remember correctly, Reaver and I set up probably one of the most powerful hallow spells. Because um, you, I think you were like a 30, I was like a 27. Reaver's rolled high. incredibly high. <laughs> Stupidly high. Um, I mean, you're patting yourselves on the back, but it was the most boring thing I've ever sat to watch. I... I, no, I, don't. I, I, I mm, next time you're getting uh, excluded. Say again. What? What? No, what? I mean genuinely say again. Just go that. <laughs> yeah. Reaver mumbled. Perception check. Um, Eridrian. Yes, dear. Oh, this is Eridrian Farstrider. You got to use his full title now. He's a knight of the Fey Whelms. You're a knight. Yeah, it's pretty big deal. There was a ceremony and everything by the Queen of the Fae. She looks at you. Really? It's so beautiful. I thought I might it just, die. It just grins mugly. <gasps> oh, your majesty. I, I bow as well. <laughs> prepared thine wine 
for you. You may rise, my subjects. Yes. Oh, thank you. She like great, makes excellent. this really terrible deep bow. The great <laughs> generosity of Eritrean fast rider is famed far wide. But like seriously, I mean, there's like twenty bottles. Then it sounds like I should be the one bowing to you. Oh, Except bow me. to me, a Redrian <laughs> oh. Strider, because Baby everyone, Zuna. everyone dies eventually. It's only right. <laughs> <laughs> I stand next to a Redrian and copy him in the bowing. I'll give like a gracious sweeping bow with a kind of flurry of the wrist, and what? she looks at you and kind of drops drops the face like, ah, your bow is much better. Oh man. It's a matter of practice. I've got a to-do note that I need to teach you how to tell stories because you wanted me to do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like a really old note, but not forgotten. Sorry, Nax, I think I entirely interrupted you. That's quite all right. I was going to comment that we just didn't need to inflate his ego any more than it already is. It might pop, though. Ah, it's a little bit true. <laughs> he knows we do it from a, pa a place of deep and abiding contempt uh, love <laughs> you just all need to be taught to recognize true quality when you see it I got no response Faye Queen told him he was great you can't really beat that unless I had a fire opal so how did you lose your memory? Looks at Valerian. What uh, memory have you lost? Do you know who I am? Hi! I'm Luna. Hi Luna. I remember you, Luna. I think uh, I remember... I think I forget. Wait. I can't remember what I've forgotten. I but can't that makes what sense. I've forgotten. Of yeah. course you can't remember what you can't remember, right? Sam yeah. tried to make up the memories that I've forgotten, which is quite weird. So I can work? remember what I've been told, but I forgot. That sounds it... really complicated. I tried to help. Wait, did you add anything? I felt like you would have added things. You, you remember the remember bit with the tower? bathtub? I don't remember a bathtub. Do you remember dancing naked with a bunch of fae? I remember you telling me that I danced naked with a bunch of fae. And you're probably fine. I don't think I'd add anything more egregious than that. The day that Sam doesn't flourish things will be a very Listen, dangerous Listen, I had idea. one minute to compress an entire like week or two's worth of travel and adventures with fit terrifyingly powerful Sam, beings. Sam, Sam, if any bard could do it, it would be you. Well, just wait until you hear the full version tonight at the tavern. Oh. Here we have some wine. It's true. That we do. So, well, let us what, go to the tavern. What would you no. like to do? Go to it's the early morning. Well, it's early morning. yeah, nice. Love. It's five o'clock yeah. somewhere in the world. Um, we need to figure out how we're going to identify where these people who are trying to kill Nax are, travel there, and ask them politely to stop. Ask and then when politely. they refuse, we ask them less politely to stop. I thought, like, polite was uh, a euphemism. Uh, I, no, I did actually plan to politely ask them first, because it's only polite to ask someone before, you know, resorting Murder. to violence. And that's an yeah. important lesson that we should uh, make sure that the young and vul influenceable uh, among us learn. I'm thinking about my magic harp. I have a magic harp. Ooh, does it play music? I haven't asked, but I assume that she does. Okay. No, that was poor phrasing. I'm looking after a magic harp. Pretty weird for you to uh, gender your harp. Yeah, uh, that was the that was the impression I got from the tone of voice and the appearance. 
something's dropped in it. The appearance of a harp? No, they're not always a harp. Like. That sounds really weird. Oh. Eh. Can I see it? It's. Uh, yeah, she's here. Do you want Lyra? What does it look like? <gasps> oh no. Currently, it's like a heart. True forms, right? True forms. True forms. Your eyes are blinded by a devastating sea storm compressed into a tiny form. The expanse is agonizing to your mortal mind as the storm goddess herself. Sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> you see. And this is very strange because it's not a, like when you, when you look at Sam, there's like an, an overlay. Almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Looking at the harp, it's almost like you see a figure chained to it, like shackled to this harp. Um, a figure wearing a cloak and a hood, clearly, um, and, and in such a way that it's done to conceal their identity. Mm -hmm. But to you, with true sight, there's definitely that recognition of power there, whoever they are. Um, it's, it's a powerful figure. Mm. Can't tell um, what gender they are. They're wearing fairly loose robes. I just head I, bowed I, down. I was I was fine with just the whole like bipedal person looking it's thing. It's definitely look bipedal it was, bipedal person. Yep. You know, My mistake if I gained an impression that wasn't conveyed. And just looking down and it's loth. <laughs> no, no, there's no spider okay. queen. Yeah. But um there's they they appear to be shackled to this instrument and yeah. They seem, looking at them, that this whole like theme of mist that there was around them, mm -hmm. even now you see, it's like there's there's uh, a, a haze hanging around them and definitely a haze as in mist, the, the natural occurring mist, not a, a haze as in a mysterious blanket or something. Um, yeah. I look at Luna. You can see how weird it is, right? That's not a harp. No. No. Oh, Partially because I think that's a liar, but... Um, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I used the wrong word. Sue me. That, Harps are normally bigger, right? Yes, Much but I mean, bigger. even liars don't usually have figures chained to them. No. No? They what? That's not good. Oh, also, and I give like Luna a nudge, I'm like, starting to see. Mm-hmm. She, like... Looks at you, and it's just a, like, <laughs> basically giving you the work cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so grumpy, you won't tell me what I look like. Oh yeah, don't. I think, uh, I, I, <laughs> oh, okay. I think, I think it's really rude. I think I think I should be allowed to know. Apparently, Luna, he thinks it would be cheating to know what I look like. You don't know what you look like. No, I've never known. I didn't How even do you realize not know I didn't. What you look like? Because I can, I, I can always just. I only see the outside. What you see? Well, what these guys see, you see the inside. I can't see like you see. Oh, that's it's, weird. It never bothered me until Reaver told me that there was something to see. Thanks. You can see the appeal, right? That's a pretty good prank. Yeah. I will. Sulk. <laughs> I, I do not feel threatened by sulking. Good, because I'm not actually going to threaten you because you're my friends. Why do you have assassins after you? Nax specifically has assassins after me. Why? He's super powerful. And How do you not know? Well, I don't know. It seems like someone's annoyed at me for something I did in the past. Do we need to change our group name from the Second Chancers to something to do with, like, Forgotten Memory? So Second Chancers? 
That's, yeah, it's... that's what I agreed that we all agreed that the ne we should be called. I don't remember well, that. That's a good idea, and you could create a dream for me, like you did with Demirian, and I could Im imagine that I had some experience, and we can attribute all the bad things to that. Yes, but I don't actually know what I'd be... <laughs> like, it wouldn't be historically accurate, like Denirian's was. I could make up something terrifyingly and powerful, but it wouldn't necessarily... I live... Citrus, citrus, this guy. Yeah. Night, night, honey. That's um. Yeah, uh, it wouldn't be historically accurate necessarily, because uh, like that's that's two thousand years worth of of memory, as opposed to a week. I'm not sure I could fit all. Like, yeah, it's out of my league. Sorry, Nax, you're out of my league. If you ask Sathians, she knows a lot. Oh, she does know a lot. Oh. But then I have to face her. I wanted to get a fire opal for her, but I couldn't in the time we had available. We had to leave because otherwise we'd endanger innocent lives. Exactly, but still, there's no fire opal. One day. What is your plan? Should, uh, should we go could ask the dragon? I love seeing the dragon. Uh, and she ha has told me I'm not banned from her mountain, which is brilliant. You're not banned. Yeah, she that's, scared that's... me off, remember? And then I left. And then she was like, ugh, don't be that way. She didn't say I'm sorry, but she said don't be that way. So, and she hasn't been, like, angry when I've dream chatted with her and caught her up on the news and we just had a little, you know. She taught me yeah. the language, kind of. Nice. And by kind of. Um, she spoke it, and I copied her, and now I can well, speak Draconic. Well, we can go see Seathanth. Uh, I, I, ca I, I caught her up with everything last night, when I went over to the Kanega's house. You bastard! Sorry, I got here first. Um, God damn it! Boundaries! I know, I know, I mean... I just teleported here first, so, so I'm sorry. Um... But <gasps> I can teleport he... Finn. You can you teleport can Finn. <laughs> no, well, I probably could as well. But I, 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 I got us. I, I, yes, come to me. Uh, I, I, I stepped into a mirror in um, the Dwarven capital and ended up in. It was amazing. Finn's gonna go... look at Nax and then look at Sam. Look at Nax. Look at Sam. And just kind of look at looking for Nax for the validity of this story. To the one guy who I know can teleport in a group, and is the arcane competent one. You're exactly right, Finn. I need to press this data. Yeah, that's teleport. Like, like long, yeah. long. Skate, you can like, teleport a sword across the world with perfect accuracy. Like, I really respect that you left it here just so you could test that. Showmanship, sure, we'll go with that one. Yeah, respect. Uh, well, well, uh, we can go see see that. But Luna and I were well. Luna was mentioning that someone has just like there's been a recent influx of people to Thule. Well, not uh, an influx of people, but like visitors. Sorry, yeah. visitors to Thule. Uh -huh. Um, the um. Oh, um, so they they obviously would have gone to where the heart of the Gotha. They went to oh, right. There's a port on the south coast, isn't there? Mm -hmm, Bastman. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's the one. It's where I got Sorry. my clothes. I need new clothes. Um, we can leave the house. It's Nax. You learned that spell. I didn't manage to quite catch it. Um, but I don't know. It's still floating around in my head a little bit. Right. Not quite loud yet. This takes some time. Okay. It's quite a powerful spell. Right, that's fair. It's probably why I couldn't catch it the first time around. Okay, uh, well. Let's chill here for a bit until it's safe to leave, and then once we're insulated against scry and die attacks from the southern deserts of Orion, um, then we can go check that out. Uh, Sorry. How long... So hey. how long do we have to stay here for? Before we can leave the safety of our house? Max, how long do you reckon it'll take you? 
No, he's he's busy. He's busy copying things down. We've lost uh, him. Another night. Another and then, oh night. shit! That's talent. That's talent right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's definitely worth doing before we go Indeed. anywhere, everywhere. Because as soon as we leave our kind of hallowed ground, it's fair game again. Yeah. Ah. Um. Yes. And then we should. Uh, then we can talk to Seathinth, the great dragon. Then we can um, check that our home is safe and maybe figure out what to do next about this inconvenient problem. Ooh, I'm littering and I summon uh, my weapon because um, I realized I left it in a tree. Yeah. <laughs> I could just imagine there was a bird perch on it. <laughs> Probably. Um, and it's in the, um, the long sword form, and uh. Oh. Hopefully, it was going to be a stick you could throw for Greki. We just, we just have sticks for that. Yeah, but like it's much cooler as an eldritch. Stick. Yeah, but yeah, but if Greki bites bites down on a, a no, what if Greki tried to catch the sword and it a horribly roll? I mean, Gre- Greki literally played fetch with the actual scythe before, so it's... yeah, yeah. yeah. Like this is a known quantity. Yeah, but a, yeah, but Scythe has a large yeah. stick based Face has a large shoot, stick bit, based bit for it. Bit for it. <sighs> Freefer, you tried to say something earlier. Um, I was just going to ask Nax what they were planning or what kind of step forward they wanted to do. Like, it's all well and good. I was throwing around like, let's go see a dragon, let's go do this, let's go do that. But Nax is actively being hunted by some monster person in a cold throne room. Mm. Is it a frozen throne? Might be. Ooh, we can call it that. It's a uh, cold that was cold twice. It's a cold twice. Frozen throne. I mean, I think we need to work out, get to the bottom of this because, well, to be honest, it's causing you more trouble right now than me, either. Um, but obviously, it's me they want to do trouble to. So. Yes, we should go find more information we can. Dragon seems like a good idea. Mm. Perhaps we could invite... Uh, oh, not tonight, I've used up the spell. God damn! Oh, uh, perhaps we could invite them, uh, Seathinth and the Kniga, to dinner. That seems excessive. Oh, but I want to do it. <laughs> Seems inefficient. I can just tell see see if to come over. I wanted to show off with my grand magical powers, but I used my most powerful spell to teleport to Denarian earlier. To guess. Why would you show off? She's a dragon. Yeah. Damn finds a way. You're never going to be as dragon as she is. Well, I refute that statement. Okay, my... but as long as you can't be... <sighs> okay, hold on. She concentrates for a moment. Uh, no, we didn't... <laughs> okay, she's on her way. There. Done. No showing up <sighs> needed. Well, I better get changed then. Excuse me. Sure enough, it takes not long at all. Panicked, getting dressed. Like Before proper. you hear the large flapping of gigantic wings. Could you bring... Oh, you probably already gave her wine. Curses. As you see the form of Seathens, just kind of very focused flight towards you. You know, the wings are back. The great speed approaching your household and only the last minute kind of pulls back. Those of you who are outside, you get sandblasted a little bit. I'm... That is the coolest. As uh, so you have a gigantic ancient dragon in your back garden. God damn it. God damn it's the fruit salad. <laughs> Prestigitation. Um, oh. I, I bow respectfully to see it. 
and greet her and welcome her to our hub. And plug my headset in. Um, I'm not sure she can get in here. She can't get, she can't get in your back garden. She'd be on the outside of it because you very specifically wow. warded it against her. Mm -hmm. Yep. You warded the house against her? Fuck yeah. yes. Oh, you guys are the worst. That's drags um honor to you. Um I didn't expect Luna to to invite you over so soon, but please feel welcome. I, I was going to regale um people with a tale in great detail, uh rehearsed detail, with images to show off everything that happened. Um what happened in the Feywild, um specifically. She Kind of settles her claws in the dirt. And you can see your is just very much clawing at the edge of the warded zone. You know where it is. Finn, you do as well. And the two of you notice it. There's definitely a little bit of a... Can I but insight check that? I don't... Th you'd be looking for something that you have meta knowledge of. Uh, that's fair. Uh, my passive insight is 21. No, that's absolutely fine. Uh, but I am... Generally, not specifically. Very key she is of her. Sitting down. Mm -hmm. I wasn't quite finished yet. Oh my apologies. Leaning forward. Sniffs a few times. Gives Eridrian a little bit of a sneer. Mm. Oh, I like her so much. The small pup tells me you've returned and I can see you're all here. I've heard your stories. Luna. What is there to add? Uh, detail, because I'm sure that I, I infer it would have been Finn that told you the stories. And I wanted to make sure that you had a f counting. Are you bringing oh. assassins into my home? Well, hopefully not. I mean, that would be greatly discourteous. And we know that this place uh, is safe against all such by assassins. We wouldn't seek to leave it and bring harm to your home, would we? Glare at everyone else. No, that's why we're in here. Yeah. She narrows her eyes a bit at you, Reaver. Is there, is there an energy here? Like, what's, what's happening? So what do I need to know? Well, it was... Honestly, Luna's it was more intense. Luna's told me to come over. More... Mm. You see Luna Scout. just kind of like... <sighs> <laughs> I... Using major image to support this, I give a full dramatized accounting of... Uh, the events, um, including such notable characters as the Elder Brain, Daenerian's father, so that Daenerian can actually have visual idea of what he looks like with, like, in full scale view. Um, she I rudely tell... interrupts you at that point. By all means, no, of course. We welcome questions from the audience. You met a celestial. Well, not just any celestial. The father of our Daenerian here. The half-elf. And I bet you never... Or we certainly never thought to question what the other half was. So it came as quite a surprise to us, let me tell you. When he Step appeared... Step forward, you. Gestures at you, Daenerian. Step aside. Hi. Come closer. Hi. <laughs> like but closer. Brings her massive face all the way towards you and just sniffs you a few times. And her breath stinks because dragons are very much carnivores. And she has eaten some form of like the cattle this morning. And you feel just this, this hot breath wash over your face, the smell. She's like, Well, that is a story I never thought I would hear. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. Would you like, 
Would you like additional context, Daenerian, if you're okay with sharing? I'm just trying very hard not to boot the snoot. But okay. Okay. <laughs> Where is your father? Why is he not here? I would love ah. to speak to him. What a wonderful segue to what happened next, what? I say. Uh, and I uh, visualize the story of um, Daenerian's father coming down to save Greki. Like this majestic figure over this like sad, uh, uh, unhappy wolf in this pool of light. Um, it's very, it's very moving. There's like a choir in the background uh, harmonizing. Um, and then there's, uh, as best as I can recall, um, word for word, Daenerian's father explaining to him that um, he'll get in trouble for coming here. His wings might be clipped, but Daenerian is encouraged and welcome to visit him on the uh, the realm of Ion. <laughs> she laughs, <laughs> and all of you, you can feel her laugh, like the rumbling of it, you can feel that shake you. Well, that's irony, isn't it? I'm not old enough to get the joke. You're not... D of course you don't know about Ayun. <sighs> A god of knowledge, one of their own servants, looks for too much knowledge and gets punished for it. Your mortal gods are also silly. <laughs> that is quite funny. Um, tragic for Daenerian here, but hilarious in its abstract irony, certainly. Um, may I, should I continue? Sure, your story is amusing. Wonderful. I crave nothing more than to be the... Uh, anyway, moving on. I tell us the story as we encounter... Um, we travel through the Feywild and enc encounter Madame Walker. Um, what's her reaction to that name, if any? No, oh, at that point she... Mm. I missed that, sorry. She pauses. Hmm. Well, you survived. That's impressive. <sighs> My expression tells us to be there in itself. And I uh, go into more detail about uh, the deck, the um, her enjoyment of games, and how I um, did the coin flip thing and. Uh, elicited a, a evoked a response from her with that uh, and how Daenerian found this magical liar on the uh, on the cart but was prevented from um, sneaking it away and then how the deck of cards these strange cards came into play and we were offered to draw from them and Iridrian did and Finn did and things happened there and Finn had to trade a lock of hair um, to escape the, um, the clutches of that um, bargain thing that he was going through and um, do you know that when I was younger even we would be warned don't make have... a deal she might eat your children huh that's oddly applicable and so after that we traveled to the palace of Tatiana where we were I made don't welcome. need to hear about that part it's okay there's a uh, to cycle back later that evening uh, I to make good on my promise to Madam Walker reached out with a dream and um, because I was touched by the plight of a magical instrument a sentient creature uh, chained and imprisoned and I sought to find out magical explain, creature She's just Definitely. constantly interrupting you, like... Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. And I, I just, like, roll with it as if it was a fully... In, like, I'm feeding these lines to, like, snap onto now, because this is clearly the dynamic that she enjoys. Um, and I explain uh, that Daenerian, uh, when he was rummaging through the cart, when Madame Walker's back was turned, found a magical... What magical creature? Magical creature. Uh, and I go on to explain that there... That see, um, that... I had thought that um, magical instrument, uh, sorry, sentient magical items 
would be a, a kind of magical creature. Like, I don't know how they work, but perhaps I, the way I saw it was a... a um, Where is your creature? I don't understand the question. Where is your magical creature? Your... your... Indeed, and uh, I explain uh, the bargain that I made uh, to save this... Uh, to, to release this creature from the chains of Madame Walker, and I introduce you to um, my ward for the time being, uh, Lyra. Say hi, but be polite, she's kind of scary. Like, when, when I, I'm a, just, I, as a, I can only talk to you right now. Oh, okay. Uh, well, um, she says hi. They say hi. See it then, looks at it. I would accept that as tribute. And I will keep that in mind, but I have not forgotten that I owe you a fire opal, and I am true to that. Uh, and of course, Lyra here uh, is... Lyra? Uh, is, I don't know their original name. Much of their memories are lost, and I have made it uh, my promise to... Uh, do my best to get them into a healthier and happier place. Um, because no immortal should suffer in such a way. Especially not immortals. There was once a goddess named Lyra. Really? Or a god, depending on who you ask. Hmm. And they were a liar. Uh-huh. They like to trick people. Mm -hmm. That's a funny coincidence. And complete a complete coincidence as well, it must be. Because uh, certainly there would be no reason why both uh, Tatiana, Madame Walker, and uh, yourself would warn me to be careful of such a creature named Lyra who may be... What I never said to be careful, I said I wanted it. There's a difference. I, I'm being very careful right now. Mm. Mm. I smile, like, um, disarmingly. She turns Definitely away not. from you. Say again, sorry? She turns away from you, quite abruptly, and turns Aww. towards Reaper. Your blood is equal parts annoying and interesting. Thanks. What stories are you holding back? What haven't you told me? She's got a lot to tell. Interesting knowledge, hidden knowledge. Uh, is it uh, recent events or? No, of course not recent events. What are you looking for here? Anything I don't know yet. Uh, I would need to know what you don't know to give you that information. I what do you mean? Touché. You seem quite learned. Um, what have you seen? You've got an interesting connection. That much is clear. But how deep does that go? How long have you spent in other places? Long enough. Hmm. Um, and how far deep? How deep things go uh, it seemed infinite. Have you ever considered staying here permanently? Mm. Uh, I, I come and go. But I think we were making kind of full of a sort of like our home. Why? You would be a good guardian, and it would be great if you could. Give me a little bit of respite. You see Luna very much look at the ground next to you. <laughs> um, as much as I would really, really enjoy that. Um, we have uh, a bit of an issue with yes, I've not finished the, the story yet. Oh yeah, and also Sam wants to keep talking, so 
But they've Perhaps talked he's... quite a while. That's what Sam does. I'm asking but you now. More entertaining, they can conjure illusions and stuff like that to give depth to what they're talking about. I can only say that we need to sort this assassin thing out first before we can settle down. Unless, I mean, you're standing at the limit of where we can go to currently. If we don't want to bring any unnecessary um, involvement here, which I really don't want to. I like fool as it is. So do we- I. So until tomorrow, when Max can do something about this, we need to stay here for now. Um, but yeah, uh, I can imagine in the long run, I'll probably want to spend a bit of time here. If we can figure out where these assassins are coming from and put a stop to What kind of assassins are they? I look at Max. But also start conjuring illusions to whatever he says, because god damn it. The cold transitory type. You don't know where they come from. You've not questioned any. Dissected their bodies. No, they kind of appear. If they're here, they attack, and then if they're getting beaten, they disappear before they can be brought down or captured. Disappear. I know that some of you can talk to those who are dead. Oh, they don't leave bodies. They. Uh, also seem to be being controlled. Yes, and able to lock on to Nax, even when he was invisible, though a powerful ring is currently shielding him. There was some sort of thing inside there, in, like, uh, was it a, a belt? Did I imagine that? A collar. Collar. If I present the image of one for um, Seathinth to see with her own two eyes. So you're being chased by some conjurer's pets, really? Hmm. Inconvenient. Because it means they could. It means they could be anywhere. It makes the tracking a bit harder, doesn't it? Mm. Well, don't bring them to my land. We do not plan to. Good. I, f- I feel like there's a location written in a book, and I can't remember why. Is it Taklan's book? I think it was Taklan's journal. We'll have that here. You mentioned something about a possible location that I was going to bring up, but there's so many notes, I can't find it in my notes. If you give me like what point. kind of location you're looking for, I might be able to assist you. Yeah, right there. Do you mean a specific or a broad location? Like a, like a bro- like a broad location, but a good starting point. I'm pretty sure it was like. The frost fell, or some shit like the that. The frost fell has been mentioned. Absolutely. It was like a specific, yeah. like this person came from the frost fell. The frost fell has yes. been if I mentioned. Remember correctly, um, the image of the place was also beamed into our head uh, on the telepathic chat. Yeah, although that was a, a room. Ah, the room was rather, which Finn would like. Finn were like, well. I'll, I could try and scry and see if I can see out the window. See if that you, reveals anything. For those of you looking for the frost fell, what you have on that is um, actually in the book Casters Over the Ages. It is it's Casters Over ah, the there Ages. Ah, there it is. Apple Tam, can Narsix rumored to have come from the frost fell approximately 1200 years ago? The sorcerer was believed to be responsible for the drops that turned parts of Eskaye and Orion into a desert. Believed to be the servant of a, the god of the eternal winter, Iborg Dalzim, the nomadic desert tribes in Askaya dubbed the sorcerer Abi Dalzim, and still wish Abi Dalzim's draught upon their enemies. That. Ta- Taplin's journal spoke about a ritual. Scene. Did you just say this out loud? Yeah, I, I like that. You, you mentioned Frostfell, and I'm like, <gasps> get out of book, find that. 
draw it out. Say it out loud. Okay. You see the moment you say this out loud. Hmm. See it and kind of suddenly sit up onto your hind legs. Like. And you can tell she's trying to bring her head forward, but there's this invisible barrier that's stopping her from doing so. But her eyes are intently trained on you, Nax. <gasps> as she's giving you this searching, piercing look. There is no way that you are responsible for the desert, is there? Uh-oh. That's quite a big jump from mentioning that these people are chasing me to a reading from a look. Well, you've kept me up to date on everything that's happened so far. Sorry, I missed the ha first start of that. It, You've uh, kept me up to date on everything that's happened so far. Yes. I'm pretty sure that you and your friends have told me that Nax is not entirely a real name. I start whistling um, innocently in a way that says, yes, you're absolutely right. Oh, Sam told her. Sam's told her everything. Yeah, we chat. Everything. Everything. There's a reason there's a dome over our homes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> She's going to be fine about it. What's the worst I that can lived happen? in those lands when I was younger. Oh, that's the worst that can happen. <laughs> I remember when half the population disappeared because someone experimented, thought it didn't go well enough, slaughtered half of them and then left for a different country. He is Eskai. Rings a bell. Ooh. Eskai. Which of that? She looks at you next. Was... I'm just looking back. Why? Was that was that during the was was the deserts there before or after? Because I think we also know of a wizard that went around that area experimenting. Also, old, the, old there were never there were never deserts there in the nine hundred years that I've lived in. Uh, sorry, there were always deserts there in the nine hundred years that I spent. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, does the 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 killing did that happen before or after the deserts? Or was she meaning? It all happened at the same time. She seems to imply that it all happened at the same time. Ah, it wasn't Lysander then. Mm. Or Taquin. Taquin? Taquin was the one that was on the... There's all of so you are watching a staring contest happening. I mean, there's so many powerful wizards who have um, gone off the rails at one point in in the world, in history. Like, it's very hard to figure out who to... We still don't even know what the breaking of the world is, but we know that Taklum's involved in that. This is my attempt to divert Seathan, and I would like to try and uh, be persuasive in that effort. You can try. What was that, Marissa? You can try. <sighs> then I will deploy a persuasion check. And that is... But I don't think that's high enough, so I'm going to use for the first time my peerless skill. <gasps> No to way! Roll one of my bardic inspiration dice and add that to the roll to bring that up to a 29 persuasion. You see, because one of her eyes kind of glances in your direction. Oh, that's creepy. But she's still very much trained to the max with the other. Mm. What were you going to say, Finn? Yes. Her expression and general, I mean, a dragon is not a human, so it's not. I'm not going to be able to get the entire, well, the most obvious statement of the night. But um, but a dra but you would like to roll an insight check? Of, yeah, basically just with facial expressions and like how it does. She look like she's about to fucking try and claw her way to Nax. I 
Go ahead and roll an insight check. Go I'd also like oh, to. Oh, that's kind of shit. That's eight plus ten, eighteen. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do mm -hmm. the same thing I just did and add another one to get twenty-seven. When it comes to dragons, I'll just I'll just spend them. It's not particularly hard for either one of you to see that the air in front of her face is shimmering with heat. Whew. Oh. There's not a lot of love in the look that she's currently giving Max. Did he choose to judge me on events that we can't have any certainty on or on my more recent actions that we know are it's for certainty. that? She narrows her eyes, calling upon an ability of a dragon. How dare you? I was merely asking the question. And if this were to be true, which I think we know the answer to, how would you feel for that right now? I don't know what you're asking me. The thought that you may be Annihilated half a continent. Does it bring you any remorse or any regret? It's hard to know when you don't actually remember if these were things that were your actions or not. You have the benefit of the doubt for now. in his defense as a character he was offered all the power in the world all it would cost him would be the lives of his uh, companions his friends and he chose to spit in the face of those who would demand such things of him you have the benefit of the death ground. and with that she pushes off the ground flaps her wings and there's definitely a little bit of like more force in that than she usually would do. You're all having to kind of stand your ground as she takes off. Disappearing towards the crater where you know she lives. This is why we prepare for our dinner guests, Lena. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> No one died. And that is where we shall leave it for tonight. <laughs> what a session, a, thank you. On, on, a, on a massive... Woo! Fucking know it, I know it, I know it. Exit. <laughs> I think to reiterate what Ryan said, this is why we have a dome over our house. Yeah, yeah it would have been very different without the dome over the house. Yeah, yeah I was thinking that.